Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is a Total Extreme Wrestling playthrough. We are beginning a 2009 November is the starting point, and we will be taking over a. Well, we, we will be taking over WWE. We decided WWE is the company we're going to be choosing, and we'll be going from there. So, in this series, we're going to be looking at WWE, trying to find ways we can fix it. Because, in my opinion, uh, 2009, 2010, and even 2011, WWE were some of the dark years. And, you know, 2012 was pretty crappy too. But certainly that era was, was pretty poor from WWE. So, we're going to take a look at that era, see if we can make it better, see what decisions we're going to make, and see what we can do to uh, fix WWE. So, that's the plan anyways. That is the plan anyways. So, what we're going to be doing is this whole series will be streamed so it means that the videos you're going to be seeing that I'll probably let upload to YouTube will be long and they'll be long but you'll be able to scroll through it quickly go through it do whatever you want you can you can watch it all you can watch as much as you like but they'll be available there for you to check out so if you can't make the streams you'll be able to watch it there and I will be trying to find a particular time every single week, maybe once, twice, three times a week, whatever I'm going to do, I'll try and find a particular time and stick to that every single week so you know when I'm going to be streaming the series and you can come along and watch it. But also, available on YouTube as well. I won't be uh, I won't be dropping my other series, so if you're worried about if I'm going to stop doing 2007 T, um, TNA, I'm still going to be doing that. But um, this is just an extra thing for me on the side to do for fun. And something, you know, it's an excuse for me to stream. I don't stream enough. I want to do it. So uh, this is probably the game I've always wanted to stream for a long time. So um, if you are watching on the replay, you'll be um, seeing me talking to people in the chat. And it might be a little bit um, awkward at times. You might not know who I'm talking to. But that's just the, you know, just the nature of the beast. That's how streaming goes. Okay, so 2009 WWE, November. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Thank you for coming along, and in this series, basically, you guys are going to help me. You guys are going to help me make decisions, who to push, who not to push, what storylines to do, some creative ideas for the storylines. We've got plenty, plenty to do. So, wow, we got some plenty of viewers. Actually, surprised to how many guys are here. Thank you so much for coming along. Really, really appreciate it. So, today, we're going to be setting it up. Now, I could get tempted to do a... Uh, a sneaky little episode of uh, Raw Smackdown to start things off, but we'll see. Alright, so what we'll do is I'll show you the roster that we have right now, and we'll go with it. Um, if you're wondering, music in the background, we can't really have it up too high because of copyright. I don't even know if this will pass through copyright, so it's a bit of a tester. Fingers crossed. Okay, so let's take a look at the roster. Now, before we get to there, first things first, there's three brands. We have Raw... ECW and SmackDown. So, three brands right from the beginning. Now, question is, did we drop Raw? Uh, sorry, did we drop ECW? Um, no. We, we're going to keep Raw, keep SmackDown. And I want I want the challenge of keeping ECW. So, looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. Uh, make developmental. We do have developmental. We do have FCW. We'll get to that soon. Okay, so... We're keeping ECW. I want the challenge of making ECW good. Now, I want to show you guys the roster of ECW. And this is pathetic. This is just pathetic. This is the 2009 roster that is in this mod. Now, this could have been different, but I don't think so. Abraham Washington, a rookie. 30 popularity. Yeah. Byron Saxton. I, I Was he... Is that legit? Was he actually um, an announcer on ECW? I don't think that's right. Is that, is that correct? I don't know. Someone will let me know. Kalen Croft. I don't even know who this guy is. Now, I didn't watch WWE in 2009, 2010, or 2011, so a few of these names will go straight by me. Christian. Christian's our main guy. Christian's our main guy. He is 77 popularity. He's the ECW world champion. He's the guy we'll be building ECW around. He is the only guy in ECW worth talking about, really. Uh, what's up, RJ? Presto players, welcome, man. Welcome, everyone, to the stream. Thank you so much for coming along. Okay, so, yeah, it's it's interesting. There's just no one. Um, okay, so, 
Christian, our main guy, Courtney Taylor. Um, she's in the women's division on ECW. I don't even know. We, I didn't even know we had a women's division on ECW, but uh, she performs as a backstage interviewer. So there you go. More of an interviewer rather than a wrestler. Ezekiel Jackson. So he's here. Didn't I think he won the ECW title at some point? Isn't that right? Was he the last champion? Yeah, and no I wonder why it sucked. Um, Goldust, we've got him. He's on ECW, apparently. I mean, Goldust on ECW? I mean, come on. Does, does that, to me, that just, that just doesn't seem right. Just doesn't seem right to me at all. Um, but, you know, it's a thing. It's a thing. Byron was only on NXT before coming a commentator. Yeah, so I didn't see, I didn't think that was um, legit. So that's weird. So we'll have to fix that. It doesn't make sense changing the ECW product like that. We've got to change it. We've got to change it because it's terrible. Do we have a link to this mod? I will be putting a link to the mod next episode. Um, I actually have to upload it because it's originally a TW13 mod. So some of the features that TW16 have won't be converted from the old mod. So I'll have to... So I did convert it. So I'll have to upload it um, next episode. So I'll put that link in the, uh, the video and on the stream for the next time. Alright, so anyways, let's keep going. Katie Lee Birchall. She's pretty good. Katie Lee Birchall's pretty good, I believe. Um, yeah, as you can see, her stats are pretty good. Good popularity. So, we'll probably move her away from ECW and put her in the women's division um, on Raw SmackDown. Paul Birchall. Yeah. Rosa Mendez. Yeah. Savannah. So, there's quite a lot of women, actually. Here's the other top guy in ECW, Shelton Benjamin. So, thank God that we have at least a couple of guys... And Shelton Benjamin's terrific. Don't get me wrong. I really like Shelton Benjamin. Great worker. But um, as our main event, one of our top names in ECW, that's pretty weak. The Hurricane? Yeah. Tiffany? Um, that's Taryn Terrell. Now, I like Taryn Terrell. She's beautiful. And as a wrestler, she had a nice little run in TNA for a couple of years there. I didn't mind her. So I'll probably do something with her. Now, she might need to go to developmental and work on her ring skills. The only ECW guy that I can see on this list is Tommy Dreamer. The only guy left is Tommy Dreamer. I mean, are you kidding me? Where, where's the ECW talent? Where? They're, they're just not there. Tommy Dreamer, yes. Where's Sabu? Sandman, not there. RVD, not there. Why? I don't, I don't know. Don't know. Byron was on ECW. Okay, so, cool. Callan Croft is Trent Barrett's tag team. The Dude Busters. <laughs> the Dude Busters, really. Okay, cool. Um, we should revamp ECW with a lot of indie guys. Trust me, that will be the the, uh, the plan. Virtual's incest angle. Oh, God. Does that really happen? Jesus, okay. Tony Atlas. Um, isn't he the manager for Mark Henry? Well, was. Uh, apparently, he's managing nobody right now. So, that's great. We've got a manager who's doing nothing. Awesome. There's Trent Beretta, Tyler Rex, Fans Archer, oh my god, Kozlov, William Regal, William Regal's good, but he's 41, yeah, Yoshi Tatsu, and Zack Ryder, Jesus, oh my god, god, look at that roster, that is a single brand, just imagine that, just imagine that's like Smackdown right now, would you tune in to watch this roster, this is like Smackdown, would you tune in, no, terrible, how the hell? I, I don't know. I don't know. No wonder why they had to kind of combine the brands and my ECW folded. Abysmal. So, lo lots of work to be done with ECW. A hell of a lot of work. Okay, so, for SmackDown, yeah, most of the ECW originals left can work. Yeah, they're getting older, but geez, you could have at least kept them on there for something. Some ECW names, whether they be personalities, managers, something, just to give it that... You know, that ECW feel. There was no names on there that you can recognize. Is this going to be realistic? Are you going to sign every indie wrestler? Not going to sign every indie wrestler. I will be restrictive in a way. But if there's a name that I want, I can sign. Because realistically, you can sign anyone you want. It's, you know, you're the booker. And you could have brought in anybody. Anyone who's un not under contract, WWE could have signed at any time. So... Yeah, and plus, you know, I guess 2009 WWE didn't have that indie um, signing. You know, they didn't really look for indie talent at all. So, 
we could quickly change that or we could still go along with that. Okay, so yeah, horrible roster, I agree. Okay, here's SmackDown. So, Batista, 40 years of age, stats, mm, not great, but it is Batista. A huge fan of Batista, I am. He's a heel, so doing that, um, I don't know if he's doing the Hollywood thing, he's still the animal gimmick. Maybe that's what he's doing, but they've just kept the same type of gimmick. Beth Phoenix, so one of the main women we've got. Charlie Haas, realistically, Charlie Haas should be on probably ECW with Shelton Benjamin because that's the only thing I could potentially find for Charlie Haas to do. Nothing else would I even think about doing. Um, push JTG. Ooh. Crime Time, though, I, I think would be decent team still. All right, here's one of our top stars, CM Punk. So I'm looking forward to, to doing, you know, booking CM Punk. He is, I think, one of the most exciting prospects we've got. He is very much, very, very popular. 89 and even 90 in a couple regions. So it's not as though CM Punk is not is not a top guy. He's one of the main factors on SmackDown, and he has terrific stats, terrific promo. Everything about him is just awesome. CM Punk's the man. He is the man. And I think he's coming off just losing the world title to The Undertaker. So let's take a look. Title history. So October 4th, he lost the world title. So just about a month since he lost the world title. So definitely looking good for CM Punk. He's the man right now. And we'll be doing lots with him. ECW is the developmental brand. Uh, sorry, FCW. Sorry. Yeah, FCW is the developmental brand. Yes. We don't have NXT, it's FCW. David Hart Smith, uh, he and Tyson Kidd are a team, that's good. Dolph Ziggler, not the best popularity. 73 though is not bad. But um, yeah, so still a work in progress for Dolph. But 73, he'll, he's definitely one of our upper mid-card guys. He'll be a factor. Drew McIntyre, still early days for him. Edge, he's still going. He's still got great popularity, 90, so he's still one of the major factors. Is he injured at the moment? Yes, so he has a torn ACL at the moment. And he'll be back in four months. So around Royal Rumble time was when he was meant to come back. I don't think that's going to be the case in this game. Um, he comes back. I guess this mod was actually made in November 2009. So they probably didn't know when he was going to be coming back. That was just probably a rough guess from them. So he won't be available for Royal Rumble. Doesn't matter. He wasn't going to win it for me anyway. I don't think so. Eric Escobar, who the hell that is? I have no idea. Finley, Finley's still wrestling, but he's 51, really old. Can still go, but I'm sure he's declining big time. Um, Jimmy Wang Yang. Jimmy, Jimmy Wang Yang was interesting. He was, you know, for a, a year or so, he was interesting. Been around for a long time. He actually stayed in WD for a long time. You know, good for him. John Morrison, so John Morrison, definitely one of our major guys as well. And I, I look at John Morrison, I really see world champion material. I think it's disappointing he didn't get there. Um, he's got the stats to do it. Mike skills, good enough, definitely. 70 is good enough, great star quality, and good wrestler. So he's definitely a guy that he's an upper mid cutter right now. He's actually our Intercontinental Champion right now. He'll take that next step up. JTG, tag team guy. Kane, 83. Popularity, still going well. Brothers of Destruction, a potential thing for him to do. Um, Funaki. Um, why do we have Funaki? Well, he's the guy I might get released. <laughs> um, Layla, yep. Luke Gallows. So, he might still be doing... Yeah, he's still with CM Punk. So, that's cool. I don't mind that. Eric Escobar was Vicky's on-screen boyfriend for like a month. Oh, for God's sakes. Okay. Uh, Maria. I like Maria. So she's wrestling, so that's good. We might do something with her. We've got Matt Hardy. We do have Matt. Um, he might... Does he have any personal demons? No. He seems to be okay. And physically looks to be okay. So Matt Hardy in good condition. Will definitely be someone decent for us to use. Certainly up a mid-carder. I was thinking maybe Matt Hardy could go to ECW if we wanted to just make him broken and go crazy on ECW. I think that'd be kind of cool. Might be an option. 
Uh, Matt Stryker. Yeah, commentator. Uh, what's his commentary skills? It's... Um, 60 announcing. 83 color, though. I always thought Matt Stryker was more of a play-by-play, -play, but um, I guess not. Is Jeff Hardy still here? No, we don't have Jeff, but we can get him. We'll get to that in a moment. We're going to look at the free agents in a minute. Michelle McCool, she's our women's champion. For some reason, we have two women's championships. Why? I don't know. But um, yeah, 66 popularity. I think she might be one of our most popular women. And Michelle is good. She is good. Mickey James, she's right up there as well. So she's doing fine. Um, Mike Knox, uh, that big monster guy. Decent brawler, so he might be okay. Natalia, still a bit early days for her, but she's doing, doing pretty well. Rey Mysterio, 85 popularity. And Rey's only 34, so we're looking at our roster. It is an aging roster, but Rey's still pretty young. 34, that's good. That's good. You know, we've still got a lot of years in Rey. Looking at him physically, yes, some issues with the knees, but he should still be okay. I think Rey can still be a top-tier guy for us. Our truth um, 37, so he's up there in age, but still has some good years in him. And 75 popularity might be a factor for us. Good mic skills, good enough in the ring, not amazing. So we'll have to wait and see if that's going to be an issue. Shad, obviously with the with crime time. Slam Master J. Wow. Terry Ray Gordy. Yep. So, son of, son of Terry Gordy of the Freebirds. Wow, okay. Um, so, he's apparently doing a rapper gimmick. Was he... What was, team was he with? I swear it was with... Was he with Festus? Yes. Yes. Jesse and Festus. That was the thing. <sighs> I'm trying... Is he paired right now with Jimmy Wang Yang? Oh, for God's sakes. Okay. <sighs> God help us. God help us. Ted DiBiase. Um, for some reason, he's on SmackDown. He should be on Raw still with Cody Rhodes as a team, as Legacy. I like that group. Not sure why he's on SmackDown. I'd like to bring him back to Raw and continue Legacy. Undertaker. He's our world champion on SmackDown. He's the man. 97 popularity. He, is, he has terrific stats still. He may be 44, but Taker is well and truly still kicking it. He's still killing it. He's fantastic. Um, okay, so Taker's fantastic. Sorry, I was just reading a message in the chat. Um, Tyson Kidd, he's teaming up with Harry Smith. So that's a decent team we got there. And, yeah, Vicky Guerrero. So, that's SmackDown. So, you can, as you can see, the rosters are pretty thin. We've got three brands. We're splitting, you know, all our talent across three brands. It's it's not looking great, great is it? I mean, God, it's, it's going to be tough work. All right. So, let's take a look at Raw. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Apparently, he's an authority figure on Raw. Um, yeah, I don't know about that. But, I mean, we've got Stone Cold... We should probably use him. God knows we need him. Alicia Fox. Early days for her. Brie Bella. Carlito. Look, Carlito should have been a guy to accomplish a lot more. You know, you're looking at 2005, 2006. I always look at that group of, you know, guys. MVP, Carlito, Chris Masters, uh, Mr. And Mr. Kennedy. Those groups of guys. I always saw big things in them, but none of them really achieved it. So, Carlito should have been better. He's 30, still very young, 60 popularity. Might be someone we might need to look into. Yeah, Taker is still kind of in his prime. Even though he's older, um, he's still well and truly capable of putting on awesome matches. We need mass hirings and call-ups to balance out the rosters. We absolutely do, and trust me, we will be doing it. Um, Chavo, yeah, Chavo's okay. Speaking of Chris Masters, he's still there. And like I said with Chris Masters, I'm a fan. I like him. Um, probably needs to go to developmental. Maybe, I don't know. He's lacking a little bit in, in ring skills. And this is when he came back for his second run. It didn't look as great. But, um, you know, off the steroids, obviously. 
But um, yeah, so he's a guy with a lot of potential. Cody Rhodes. Still very young, Cody Rhodes. And as I said, I'd like to continue legacy with Rhodes and DBRC. I think that's just a great team to do. And gives them both something solid to both do. Evan Bourne. So, yeah, Evan Bourne. Early days for him. He might be a guy that would fit well on ECW. As, you know, just a, a good worker. Eve Torres. Early days for her. Gal Kim. Gal Kim's good. I like Gal Kim. Um... 50 popularity is disappointing, so I'd like to see her do better. It's four months left in her contract, so debating, you know, we'll have to take a look at her, see if she's doing well. If not, let her go. Hornswoggle, I just want to release him right now. I honestly, 75 popularity though. I mean, I should have someone just beat the absolute shit out of him before he leaves, honestly. Swagger, looking good. Swagger's looking good. 73 pop. He's on his way. He's... A decent upper mid card guy, good ring stats. Swagger's good. Jamie Noble. Um, yeah, Jamie Noble's still wrestling. Okay, so he's still wrestling. He's just basically a job guy. Jerry Lawler, commentator. Jillian Hall. Um, yeah, she's doing okay. I should give Kofi the push. Um, we're going to get to Kofi Kingston in a second. You're going to be pleasantly surprised. JR, uh, John Cena, he's the he's the WWE Champion. Yes, I know, what a shocker. Cena's the world champ, yeah. Cena, 98 popularity. I think he's our most popular guy in the company. Obviously, at this period of time, Cena was the was the man. Without a doubt, Cena was killing it. Uh, Josh Matthews. Uh, I mean, he's decent announcer in color. I was going to say I might release him, but he's okay. Um, K2, Kelly Kelly. So... She's she's going pretty good. Kelly Kelly, say what you want to say about her. She was pretty successful, and uh, we'll probably give her a bit of a push. Okay, so here's Kofi Kingston. Kofi Kingston, 82 popularity. A yeah, 82. Kofi ha is the man. Kofi has the potential to be a major, major star, which is interesting because... You know, you think of Kofi and say, well, man, he had potential, but never quite made it there. Kofi, Kofi's really good. Kofi's got great, great popularity. In-ring skills, doesn't really shape up. Doesn't really show me a lot there. They're good. Mike skills are okay. Star quality's okay. But his in-ring skills probably aren't on the level of a main event guy. We'll have to see how he works in an actual match. But... Yes, and don't pair him with Orton. Orton, you're not wrong. Strong dislike of Randy Orton. Kofi Kingston and Randy Orton hate each other, so most likely we're going to have to separate the two, put one on the other brand, because otherwise they're going to be feuding, and that's not going to be good. Mark Henry. So he and MVP are a, ta are a tag team. Henry, 75 popularity. He's doing good. 38. So Henry's still young. 38. Henry. Henry's still in his prime. And it's been a long time since I've said those words, but that's 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 good. That's good for Mark. Uh, Maurice, 66 popularity. So she, like I said, with um, Michelle McCool, she's probably one of our top three, top four uh, most popular women. I think she's equal with them, but um, yeah. Melina, she can join that list. So Melina's actually the Divas champion. Um, like I said, I don't know why we have two women's championships and for God's sakes, I want to make sure that that doesn't continue. But then again, we do have quite a lot of women. Um, we've got a pretty decent women's roster on ECW, Raw, and SmackDown. You almost nearly need two women's titles. I can see why they did it. Um, MVP. So, I am a major, major fan of MVP. To me, MVP should be world champion caliber. So... By the time we end this series, I guarantee you MVP will be a world champion at some point, or very damn close, because I see so much in MVP. And I say that because 80 mic skills, 86 charisma, 79 star quality, all very good. In-ring skills, pretty good. Could be better, but they're good enough. I think that's good enough. And definitely, we're going to see a lot out of MVP. 72 popularity, as I said. 36 years of age, so we're going to do something with MVP. Now's the time. So for me, MVP will get a push. Um, Nikki Bella, so she's there. Primo, so where's Epico? Is he not? Is it Primo and Carlito? 
teaming up together. Yeah, so Primo and Carlito, they're a team. Randy Orton, so one of our major stars is Randy Orton. 2009 was probably one of Randy Orton's best years. And he's got 95 popula popularity, terrific in-ring skills. And yeah, good, good mic skills, great star quality. So Randy's got it all. Randy's got it all. He's great. Rajan Singh, uh, who's he managing? Great Carly. Great Carly isn't even isn't even on this brand, is he? The Great Carly. Oh yeah, he's down here. Okay, so he's got the in front of his name. Santino. Uh, can we just go bang and release Santino? <laughs> oh God, I. Is there a wrestler that I've hated more than Santino in my life? I don't think so. Jesus Christ. Santino is terrible. Fire Molina? No. Fire Triple H? Put him on ECW? No. Will Chris Jericho win the world title? Bring in AJ Styles. AJ will definitely be someone I would like, but he'll be under contract. Uh, Fire Carly? Yeah. Um, that'd be tempting. Shawn Michaels, so Shawn Michaels is still wrestling. Jeez, he's got a contract, 92000 a month worth every penny. So Michaels is still wrestling, and that is a damn wrestler. He has got awesome, awesome, amazing stats. Age may be an issue for him. I'm hoping not, but um, yeah, he'll, he'll definitely be terrific for us. Sheamus, he's there. So Sheamus, um, looking at the title history, wasn't world champion. I thought Sheamus was world champion in 2009. Was this late 2009? I thought he got that major push, but apparently the stat, the history of Sheamus says no. So, I don't know. 75 popularity, so he's doing pretty good. Old Sheamus is um, in a good position. Carly, yeah, he's still here. Carly's stats um, are abysmal. Yep, they're abysmal. 50 brawling is the only thing he's got going for him. 56 basics is absolutely terrible. 53 charisma, 22 acting, 27 mic skills. Wow. Not even great star quality. He's got good menace. That's the only thing he's got going for him. Alright, should we fire Carly right now? I mean, he's got terrible... He's not even got... He hasn't even got good popularity. Problem is, we're lacking roster. We're lacking guys on the roster. For now. The Miz... Surprisingly to me, 80 popularity. 80 popularity. Um, Sheamus won the title in TLC 09. So, what, December 09? So, yeah, okay, one month after this. There you go. So, thank God. Thank God we've got in there before Sheamus does that because the last thing I wanted was to start this, play start this playthrough and Sheamus be the world champ. That would have lasted about a day. Okay, so, yes, fire him. All right, fuck it. Let's fire colleague. See ya. Bye. Oh no, Rajan Singh, I'm gonna upset you. Oh no, we have to pay 80 grand. That's worth the price. And Rajan Singh, uh, let's have a look at you. Yeah, you can go too, Rajan. You like Carly? Anyone associated with Carly needs to go. You're gone. Goodbye. And last but not least, Triple H, 40 years of age, 96 popularity. Triple H, just like HBK. Is the man. Triple H is awesome and will be, a, will be one of our major stars on Raw. So that's the rosters. That's the rosters. Get rid of Hornswoggle. Now, hang on. Hornswoggle actually has 75 popularity. So what we're going to do is we're going to find someone who's got no popularity or a new guy. And we're going to have him beat the living shit out of Hornswoggle and take some of that popularity away from him. Because he does not deserve it. Okay. So there's the rosters. You've seen them. And, yeah, it's it's not looking great. But the, the good news is, is we have a lot of the aging stars. So, well, we can take a look at our main eventers. I think we might have missed over a few guys. So, yeah, there's a few guys that aren't assigned to ro um, a brand, like Jericho and Big Show. They're on both brands. So, we've got Big Show, 83 pop, and Jericho's 85. So, you can see, look at our rosters. Batista... 40, Jericho 38, Punk's young, 31, Cena's still young, Kane 42, Orton's still young, Ray's still good, but Michael's big show's getting up there, Miz is good, Taker's getting up, is certainly old, and Triple H. So we've got a mix of young guys who are going okay, the next major stars, but also our previous 
stars from the you know the previous generation are still hanging around can still go can still wrestle full time so it's an interesting time we need to start preparing the next generation but we still have the current generation that can still go all right so what we're going to do now is we are going to check out the free agents and let's see who we can sign so we'll take a look at the major stars first so the, these guys are anyone who does not have a written contract. So either they can be currently working uh, on a paper appearance deal or they're just genuine free agents. So let's have a look. So Marcher Man, Marcher Man obviously retired. No real interest in him. 80 popularity. Yeah, you can bring him back as a, as a manager, but nah, not at the moment. Lita. So Lita... Um, is not considered retired, so she definitely would come in as a wrestler if you wanted her to do so. Wouldn't be such a bad idea. And um, she's obviously got a few relationship issues, but 71 popularity is an option. Goldberg, 84 popularity. And he I actually changed him from being retired to semi-active wrestler. So the option for Goldberg to come back and have another run is there. So... He's on hiatus instead of being genuinely retired. So I changed that to, to potentially allow it to happen. Because it did happen, but, you know, obviously years and years on. Booker T. So Booker T, I think we might sign. He's actually out injured at the moment. Um, his contract with TNA is expiring, and I don't think it's going to be renewed. So he's still technically with TNA, but his contract is running out. So he's got 74 popularity. It's, that's a bit low, isn't it? It's actually dropped a little bit down. Which is unfortunate because Booker T's great, but um, that's pretty low popularity for him. I mean, that's TNA for you. Um, how is Triple H a seven-year pro? Yeah, a couple of those little things. I saw that that happened with JBL as well, where they didn't have the set amount right. I've I fixed JBLs, but I didn't notice Triple H, so I will fix that next time. Um, so should we get Booker T back? He's forty-four. Could play a veteran role for us. Maybe has another good year or two left in him. His stats are still pretty good. Surprisingly, he's actually really... He's actually still pretty, really good. Um, age is the issue, but he's still pretty good. So, um, should we bring back Booker T? One in the chat for yeah or two for no. Uh, let's have a look. RVD is with TNA now. Yeah, is that is that true? I'll, I'll, I'll just double check that. Just double check if that's the case. Um, hang on, just the guys are uh, watching on Twitch. Thank you, welcome. I just haven't had the Twitch chat open because I'm just trying to do so many things. I'm gonna open that up now, so I'll respond to your comments as we go. Um, Van Dam, RVD, RVD started in TNA in 2010. So RVD was actually a free agent from 2007 to 2010. So he's technically not in TNA yet. So yeah, he is 100% uh, available for us to get if we want to. Which um, would be great. Not going to lie. Um, let's have a look. So Booker T. Booker T. A lot of mixed. So lots of ones, some twos. Hmm, it's 50-50, isn't it? 50-50. Making him a manager. He would be a good manager. He's currently on a break, so he won't be back. He's on a break for seven days, so we could get him now. I don't, I don't know, man. I, I kind of want to bring back Booker. I, I, I like Booker T a lot. So we, we can't put him on the same brand as Batista, obviously. What we'll do is we'll give him a six-month contract, and we'll see how we go. Major TV shows and above. Okay. Wrestling around this time was so weird. It really was. It really was. I actually... I wasn't watching, but... Looking back, I could see how weird it was. Bret Hart. Not wrestling. Lesnar. I mean, we could bring in Lesnar, but obviously... Would not be realistic at all. He's no, no interest in wrestling at the moment. So he's doing the UFC thing. Unless TNA gives him an offer, I will leave that alone. Um, yes, there's Donald Trump. Yes, he's a thing. We're not doing that. Eric Bischoff. Um, 
As far as I'm concerned, Eric, you can go to TNA and ruin it for them. I'm all for that. Hulk Hogan, same thing. No interest in Big Hulk. Um, let's have a look. Jeff Hardy. So I know you guys are all going to want me to get Jeff Hardy back. He's 32, in his prime. Jeff Hardy, CM Punk. We all know how good that was. Absolutely. We've got to do it, right? We've got to bring back Jeff. He's on a 56-day break. The only problem we have with Jeff is his personal demons. He's known to have drinking problems and use drugs. So because of that, he may come back and be under the influence which could be the issue. So if we bring back Jeff Hardy, we may have to send him to rehab. But that's a risk we're going to have to take. And apparently Jeff Hardy and CM Punk don't like each other. Well, that's going to make it interesting, isn't it? <laughs> that's going to be difficult. So we'll bring back Jeff. We'll give him a big contract. Why not? No, we'll see if we can get him for a good price. No, he wants a little bit more. Happy with that. Five-year deal for Jeff. Why not? JBL, as a color commentator, he's 88. So JBL would be a really good color. I don't know who our commentators are. Um, I know, obviously, Jim Ross, JR, and Michael Cole. I don't know who our second color is. Maybe Matt Stryker. So JBL as a color might be a good option. We might revisit that one later. Ken Shamrock. I mean, I like... Ken Shamrock's okay, but... He's too old. Mr. Anderson. So a lot of you guys are saying, get Anderson, get Anderson. Absolutely. I think we might have Ken Anderson, uh, Mr. Kennedy, be the vocal, one of the major stars of ECW. When I look at ECW, I look at Mr. Anderson and think, yes, because he's got that brash, you know, cocky nature to him. Talks a lot of trash. I could see him being a great ECW champion because, you know, ECW had a lot of that crowd reacting, crowd getting angry, throwing throwing garbage at the, the wrestlers who are talking crap. I could see that with Mr. Anderson. I could see that type of reaction. So if we wanted to try and position ECW for that uh, rowdy audience, I think Mr. Anderson would be a good fit. So, yes, and he is another guy to keep away from Randy Orton because they, those two do hate each other. They do hate each other. And he also hates Bob Holly, but I don't think we have Bob Holly. 71 popularity, again, would be really good. Bit of work to do. Great mark skills, good star quality, pretty good in the ring. He's got it all. He's got it all. So absolutely, yes, Randy, I'm sorry, but we're bringing him back. And we'll give him a two-year deal. Give him a two-year deal. See how he goes. But to me, I really, I like Mr. Kennedy a lot. And I think to me, he should have been a world champion. So I see him as a potential world champion for us. Ric Flair. What do we do with Rick Flair? Nothing. I mean, the only thing you can do with him is be GM because of his terrific mic skills. So, I don't know who we have as GMs. Probably Teddy Long and probably Raw has the stupid mystery GM or guest host or some crap. So, if we wanted a concrete set in stone GM, Rick Flair would be a good choice. Van Dam, 38. But you can't have ECW without having Rob Van Dam. Can you? I mean, surely you can't. You cannot. So I'm going to bring back RVD, and he's going to be a major point of ECW as well. So Van Dam to come back and work with ECW to try and improve that damn show. And RVD might have to be the whole damn show. And as for that, that's pretty much us. I mean, you could bring back Trish. She's still not retired. She's on hiatus. So you could bring her back for a match. Absolutely. That might be something we'll revisit in the future. Um, now, this is one I want you guys to tell me. Umaga, yes or no? What do you think? Should we go for him? Technically, I think he does pass away um, not long after this. So, some people said, oh, that might not, might be a bit weird or awkward. Potentially. But Umaga, though, if we can get him, why not? Because, look, let's be honest, we don't get Umaga. TNA might get him. So, he's going to be in the game. He's in the game. It's going to happen. A lot of you guys are saying, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, Umaga for ECW. That would be, I think that'd be good. He did, didn't he win the ECW? No, well, apparently not. That's his title history is wrong though. He did win the IC title at one point, so that's missing. 
maybe they thought he was you know going to pass away or something so they didn't care to fix him up but he 36 still young um good menace good brawling yep oh, i like that all right so we'll do it we will do it um we'll bring him in on a one-year deal and we'll see how he goes so that's that's it for the major stars that's the major stars now i don't think there's really anyone else in that bracket but then you can go down to more of the indie names and there's plenty of them but uh, i might just have a quick look at our announced team so jim ross jerry lawler michael cole for the events michael cole and jerry for raw smackdown's got todd and striker where's oh okay so this is the actually so this is really so for tv this is the true commentary team so it's cole lawler and ross for raw and smackdown it just has michael cole i mean that's going to be wrong obviously and ecw doesn't even have any announcers so we definitely need to take a look at our announce team and see what we can do with that umaga will run ecw potentially yeah absolutely umaga could be a major factor for us so for raw we might keep jim ross and jerry lawler we might send cole to smackdown so cole can stay there but who do we bring in to be his side man i mean matt striker matt striker we might keep for ecw so maybe we do bring in JBL to go with um, Cole. So John Layfield. No, not Lauren Ice. We really don't want him. Actually, we know we do have him. <laughs> He's a road agent. Okay. Um, yeah, so JBL, I think, would be good. Bring in Mauro Ranallo. Uh, let's have a look. He's not even in the game. Mauro Ranallo. He's not even in it. Uh, we can add him in, but um, he's not technically in it. Because I don't know if he was doing wrestling so J, uh, JBL he has 88 colors so perfect perfect for us so um, we could get him to wrestle as well if he wanted to he's 42 JBL JBL retired young didn't he yeah, that's it I mean he did retire in 09 didn't he so yeah we'll bring back JBL bring him in for a year major TV that's fine we only want him to work that anyway so if we want to, we can do what we want. Mora was an MMA, MMA, so yeah, there you go. That's why. Taz, I think he's with EC uh, TNA. Yeah, he is. So Taz is with TNA. So that will sort the the um, the issue on SmackDown. ECW, I guess Todd Grisham. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Todd Grisham, Matt Stryker. Is there anyone else who can do play um, play by play better? Because if we're going to revive ECW, we're going to need a good announcer. Um, Jim Cornette, um, Joey Styles, Joey Styles, Joey Styles. What am I thinking? Yes, ECW, Joey Styles, sorted sorted there you go goodbye todd and i like striker and styles i think that's fine i think that's fine now you did notice you might have noticed that we do have superstars i don't want to do superstars but i feel like we may still have to so let's just take a look at our tv shows superstars it, it does have a contracts uh I really don't want to do superstars. Bobby Heenan. Um, I don't know if Bobby Heenan will be good stats. I don't want to do superstars because I don't want to have this many damn shows. We've already got four. This will, this will make four shows. So, yeah. Jim Ross. Um, this is when you would have someone like Todd Grisham doing it to give him something to do. Um, I, I need to look at my color commentators and see who I can use. Let's have a look. Great color. All right, so as you can see, there's a lot of wrestlers who can do great color, which is frustrating. <laughs> um, what you can do is though, anyone with an out of ring push. 
So, Mr. McMahon, Mr. McMahon, yeah, he won't be doing that. Uh, Michael Hayes. There's really no one there who's an realistically a commentary choice. Shotgun Saturday night, no. Do Heat instead? I don't want a minor show. I'm already doing so many, that's the problem. Yeah, rip your life if you have to book everything. I do. <laughs> I will have to. Josh Matthews, he might have to be the guy. 73 color. Josh Matthews might have to be the guy. Mm. Tony Atlas. Yeah, not great. Not great. Byron Saxon. I mean, why do we have Byron Saxon? Can he go? He's an announcer. He's got 40 announcing. Ugh. God. Ugh. Byron Saxon has got to go to developmental. My skills won't improve much more. Can we fire him? Can we fire him? He's terrible. Everything is terrible. 72 color, but ugh. Nah. I, I don't want him. He sucks. Put a one in the chat and we should fire him right now. I, I didn't even know he was around. Like, the fuck? Byron Saxon. Can't wrestle. Mm, not great. He's okay, Mike Skills. He could do a, be a manager. But... Yeah. I've got nothing for him. Nothing for him. I'm, I'll use Josh Matthews instead as a color for superstars. It's only superstars in the end of the day. I don't think we're going to be having many matches better than 75 on superstars, let's be honest. So what we need to do as well is fix the brands that they're on. So Cole um, is on SmackDown. Jim Ross on Raw. Why is he not assigned to push? Where is he? Why is he not available? Back in seven months! Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, shit. All right. Um, well, we're not, we might need Michael Cole to, do, to um, do double duty. Double duty, huh? Okay, okay, let's throw the spanner in the works. So Michael Cole might have to do double up. I don't like announcers being on the same show though. But who do you bring in? We got no. I mean, got no one else. I mean, Josh Matthews. Um, yeah, there's no one else. Hmm. Tony Schiavone. Mm, yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know about Tony. I mean, Nexus. Um, yeah, look, Nexus. We may go and do that. I'm not sure. Problem is, a lot of these guys have got terrible popularity. We're going to get to this whole development soon. I just want to set these announcers up. We've got a lot, a lot of work to do. So that's why we need a whole episode for setup. Um, so who? What should we do for the announcer? Should we? Michael Cole, is that okay? For the time being, him do double duty. JBL to go there. It's going to have to be okay at the end of the day. Joey, uh, Joey Styles, ECW. Matt Stryker, ECW. Todd Grisham. Um, are these on Superstars? He doesn't need one. Can you play those matches? Um, there is no actual matches to play. Um, let's have a look. Uh, who else was the, um, yes, yeah, Josh Matthews. So, Josh Matthews. None. We can't do, if we use Josh Matthews on Raw, his announcing is really bad, so it's going to affect the match quality. So you're gonna have to use Michael Cole unless you want to have the match qualities be poor. Um, okay, so let's quick save. So that should be the announcing team sorted. Have a look at the titles. So Christian's the champion right now. ECW, World Champs Taker. Jericho is the World Tag. 
Divas is Molina. Cena's the WWE. IC's Morrison. Tags, Jericho. US is Miz. And Michelle McCool's WWE. Now, two women's titles. One's on Raw, one's on SmackDown. Looking at the women's roster we have, it might not be such a bad idea to keep that. We might just see how it goes. The Divas title is still really new, so it probably would be a little bit shitty to get rid of it already. I don't know. Can Booker T do commentary? Um, yeah, that's a good idea. That's Booker T, ninety color. Yes, he can definitely do commentary. So. If you wanted to bring back Booker T, you could have him be a part-time wrestler and also do color. So you could take a look at Booker and see, okay, is he wrestling well? If he's not, commentary. Too many women for one belt. Yeah. I don't like how the tag titles are split, but looking at our teams, there's not a lot really there. So we've got Crime Time, DX, Jericho, Lay Cool for women... Oh, I forgot. Slam Master J and Jimmy Wang Yang. Jesus Christ. The Bellas, Brothers of Destruction. Um, the Birchals. Uh, the Dude Busters. That's a great team name. Hard Dynasty. Legacy. This is why. This is why we're keeping Legacy. For God's sake, we need them. Our tag division's thin. The Ruthless Roundtable? What the? What an awful name. Ruthless Roundtable. World's Greatest Tag Team. This is why we need them. This is why we need to put Charlie Haas on the same brand as Shelton. And the World's Strongest Tag Team. So apparently MVP is just as strong as Mark Henry. Now, I don't mind this team, but I have a lot of singles aspirations for um, MVP. Could you have one set of tag teams that go on both shows? Yes, yeah, so Jericho is uh, on both shows. So Big Show and Chris Jericho, they're not assigned to a brand, so they can go from show to show, whereas all of our other teams are set on a brand, I believe. So they are floating. Ruthless Roundtable, Roundtable is a regal stable in ECW. Well, no wonder why it did so shit. Speaking of stables, um, actually, we have a quick look at any, uh, any teams that are inactive. So, inactive unit. The only one is Edge and Christian. Um, I mean, we could set them to be active, but they're on different brands, so... And Edge is injured. Inactive individuals, there is none. So, we could add teams. So, there is plenty of teams potential we can, we can add. Uh, potential teams. So, Carlito and Primo. Yeah, so they were... That's definitely one we got to add. So there, that gives us a team. Um, CM Punk, Kofi, Punk and Gallows. Yeah, so CM Punk, Luke Gallows. So they could be just an individual. So they're there if they want to be. MVP needs a major push. Yeah, he'll be getting one. Drew Mack, Cody Rhodes, maybe later on. Cody and Goldust. Again, maybe later. Evan Bourne, Kofi Kingston. They did team up in the future. John Morrison, R Truth. Mm, not, not the moment. Um, Hurricane, no. Uh, Regal and Finley, Regal and Birchall. Mm, there's not a lot of other real great teams there, is there? Yeah. So we might just leave that. So that's all we got. These are the teams. Morrison and Miz again. Yeah, they're on different brands. Batista and Ray. I think Batista's, Batista's a heel, so that wouldn't work. And they're actually feuding right now. So these are the generic feuds that they've set coming into um, the series. So Batista and Ray are actually technically feuding. So we'll get to that later. But what we might do is we might take a look at Out of Our Mental, and then we might look at some guys that we could potentially sign to bring into Out of Our Developmental. So our child company is FCW, and FCW, our current champion, is Justin Gabriel. Justin Angel is his name. 
Our tag champs are the Rotundas, Bray Wyatt, Bo Dallas, essentially. And the queen of SCW is Serena. So, is that uh, Serena Deeb? Is that, is that her name? Anyways, so, FCW, our roster. So, let's take a look. These are... Uh, look at you, developmental. So this is our developmental. Yeah, we will be keeping FCW for a while. We may transition into NXT later, but definitely FCW for now. So we've got AJ Lee, who still got a lot of work to do. Oksana, she. Oh my god, look at Oksana. 11 brawling, 3 chain, 10. She is fucking awful. Holy shit. Wow, she bad. She never got much better. Alberto Del Rio. We've got him. He's actually in FCW Developmental. 40 popularity. So he'll probably be probably be one of the top guys in FCW and potentially make that jump to the main roster pretty soon. Good mic skills. 80 mic skills. I, I don't agree with that, but he's got that. And his stats pretty good. So he's pretty much main roster ready, nearly. Just for Lisa. Yeah, I mean, I think you're not wrong. Um, sex appeal is only 72. She's got nothing to offer. Terrible wrestler. Terrible talker. Not even exceptional. If she was like 95 sex appeal, you could look past it. But she's got to go. She sucks. Sucks. Um, we need to change uh, Del Rio's name. Fuck Del Rio. Keep him away from Paige. Yeah, uh, we don't have Paige yet, so we don't, we don't have to worry. Alex Riley... Yeah, he's okay. He's all right. I would I wouldn't mind doing Riley in the Miz. Pair it up. Big E. Big E's got a long long way to go. A um, couple of the trainers. Bo Dallas, very young. Bo Dallas, just eighteen. Long way to go. Brett DiBiase. Now this is news to me. I did not even know this man existed. Brett DiBiase. Did not even know knew. Did not even know he existed. So. There you go. There you go. Um, he's not very good. <laughs> not very good, but um, he's there. Conrad Tanner. Who the fuck is that? <laughs> no idea. Conrad Tanner. That's a terrible name. Tanner. Tanner. Kurt Hawkins. So he's there. Hawkins, 50 pop. So obviously he had a bit of a run as the Major Bros. You could bring him back and have him and Zack Ryder team up. Um, but there's some... Oh, yeah. There you go. Ryder and Hawkins. So you could definitely do that team. And that would give us another tag team. The big one, Daniel Bryan. He's in developmental. Skills. Ri wow. 90 chain, 90 mat, 90 submissions. Oh, my. Wow. He would have some good technical matches. Okay. There you go. Daniel Bryan's great. Popularity-wise, is pretty good. He hasn't got a lot of skills to improve on, just a couple. So we'll, you'll leave him in there to let him improve on that. Mike's skills are okay. If you gave Brian a manager, he would be really, really good. Darren Young, mm, he's okay. Dawson Alex, so this is David Otunga. Um, yeah, that's about it. That's all I've got to say. Derek Bateman, aka EC3. So... His stats are not great, but, you know, he could be good. You know, he does end up being good in the future, but the stats he's got here aren't suggesting a lot. Let's hope that improves. Dino Carter. Yeah. Dino Carter. Hmm. Well, there you go. Dino Carter. I don't know what to say. Don't know. Not real good. Donny Marlowe. That sounds like a name that would be in The Godfather or something. Um, he's a son of Tonga uh, Fifta. Oh, he's a son of Haku. There we go. So he's in the Samoan family. Um, we'll give him a chance. Bray Wyatt. Long way to go for Bray, but definitely a factor down the line. Um, Dusty Rhodes is down there. That's cool. Training. Dylan Klein. Um, 
He looked familiar, but I, I don't know. Eli Cottonwood. Seven foot one. Shit, okay. Big man. Big man. I think they probably wanted to push that guy, but it didn't happen. Our good old Heath Slater, baby. Um, yeah, he's doing all right. He's not bad. He's pretty good. The Usos. They're not amazing yet, but we'll definitely end up using them soon. Joey Matthews. Not sure why he's in developmental. Not sure why he's there. Um, he's good. I liked Eminem as a team, but John Morrison is so far ahead of him, you couldn't do it again. Johnny Curtis. Yep. Goldberg should be a free agent this time, should hire. Yeah, we could. He's 42. It's an option. Justin Gabriel. So he's the champ, and he's only 38 popularity, so he may not hang on to that for long. And his stats are okay. Not great, but not bad. Um, low key. So, Carvel. What, a, what a tall, um, awful name. Low key. So, he's definitely a factor. He's got great stats. You know, if you guys have seen my um, TW on 2006, low key was awesome. Really good. So, if we could get half as that, half as good as he is on that, uh, he's going to go really well. Chris Logan, what the fuck is that hairstyle? Holy crap. I should fire him just for that hairstyle. Lance K, so old Lance K. Lance K's got good stats. I'm not sure when he um, passes. I don't know. I don't think we have Trevor Murdoch. But, um, yeah. Yeah, low key probably deserves to get a call up. Um, I think he's main roster ready. Him and Daniel Bryan are probably the two guys that are closest right now. Del Rio not too far after. Lennox McEnroe. All right. Not much to say about him. Leo Kruger. Adam Rose. Um, yeah, he's there. Leroy Morgan. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Um, Liviana. So, this is Katrina, or Maxine, Katrina, whatever you want to call her. She's great. She is, oh my god, she's very beautiful. So, certainly looking at her, hopefully we can get her skills to be pretty good. I'd like to see her in the women's division. Mason Ryan, aka Batista's, um, you know, duplicate. And what is it, um, Doppelganger, Ganger, or whatever the hell it's called. He, he's not great. Good menace. But, um, yeah, he's not great. So more time development to be good for him. Um, Curtis Axel, yeah. He's okay. He's not great. He's okay. Michael Tava. So he was in Nexus, but he didn't really end up doing a lot. Yeah, K did die in 2010. Okay, there you go. Naomi, long way to go for her. Uh, Penelope Carwin. She was on British television series Gladi Gladiators. Okay. Alright. Penny Cash, what a name. Percy Watson, yeah, he's there. Not a lot to really say, <laughs> to, say to be honest. Rachel Lynn. Yeah. Okay. Ricky, no, Ricky Steamboat, no. Ricky Steamboat, we know who he is. Um, Serena, so, so, Serena Deeb. She's obviously good. Not a lot of popularity there, but she'll definitely be a factor one day for the women's division. Skip Sheffield, aka Ryback. So, yeah, your Ryback's here. Ryback's here, and he's doing okay. Good popularity. To be honest, he's. Stats are pretty good. I, he's going to get better in a few more things first. So, he's not far away. He might be one of the, you know, the next... We, we might have a, a group of guys coming up soon. And then he might be in the second group of guys to get called up. And we'll definitely be calling him right back. Who that? Sweet Poppy Sanchez. Wow. What a name. What a name. Okay. Don't know him. Don't know him. Tamita Snooker. Yep. So, she's there. Tyus O'Neill. I don't think Tamina's 21, by the way. I think that's... 
there's been a couple of um, mods that I've had, and her age has been terribly wrong. Titus O'Neil, yeah. Wade Barrett, so looking at Wade, yeah, he probably is very similar to Ryback. He might be that next group of guys, that second group of guys to get called up. He's going pretty well. Push sweet, <laughs> push sweet Poppy Sanchez to the moon. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Just fire Poppy. Yeah, a lot of these guys I could fire and not even blink an eye. And where's Briscoe? Uh, he sucked. He was terrible. Wow. Okay, so developmental is not looking terrific. Not a lot of future stars in there, is there? Um, a lot of them need name changes, and we'll get to that later. Um, for right now, that's something I can do off stream. Because who wants to see me type names? Um, so let's take a look at some other potential signees. So we'll keep going through. Wade Barrett, one of the biggest wasted talents. Yeah, I mean, Wade Barrett was okay. I mean, he didn't really help himself. He got injured a lot. But, um, you know, he had his chances. Yeah, to me, it was 30. Yeah, I know. She was definitely uh, wrong. Wasn't Damien Sandow there? Um, Damien Sandow got fired a lot. He was in and out. So he could have been a period of time where he was um, gone. So Aaron Stevens. Yeah, so unemployed. His stats are okay. He's not amazing. We'll sign him. We'll, we'll give him a developmental deal. I'll give him one year to prove himself. So we'll bring him back. Oh, Vince is like, nope, that's too much. $10 too much. All right, Vince. You need that extra $10 a month for I'm very sorry. That $120 is going to break the bank. My bad. My bad, Vince. Okay, so let's go recognizable. Get the shield. Yeah. Actually, Tyler Black, Seth Rollins is really good. Dean Ambrose is not. Roman Reigns is really not. Um, okay, so Awesome Kong. She's good. She's good. If you want to bring her in, she would be someone who'd be excellent for the women's division. She's still working with TNA, though. So she's one of those people that realistically you probably would sign later. I don't know. 32, though. So she's kind of like now or never nearly. I mean, you could poach her. Who's Butterbean? Butterbean's like an MMA fighter that was um i think he was famous for competing overseas he's a big fat dude um leader uh let's have a look so we can get the dudleys if we want they're still working in tna but they're also working in japan so so i guess if you want to be realistic you can treat that like they're in a written team in tna so they're not available to us because we don't, we don't want to steal everything from TNA. We don't want to steal everyone from TNA. So if they're on a pay per appearance deal, I'll say that's fair enough. Once that deal is expiring, then we can look to sign them. Butterbean was the fight. Oh, yeah, Boxer. Sorry, yeah. I meant Boxer. Didn't mean MMA. I saw him fight someone. Who did he fight? Um, not sure. Hmm. It was, someone, it was someone in the wrestling business. What Dan Severn was it? I don't know. Anyways, so that's Butterbean. Great Carly, yeah, I just got rid of him. Um, Jeff Hardy's coming. Great Muda, yeah. Mark Kapani, aka Muhammad Hassan. Now, you guys know I love Muhammad Hassan. So, man. Uh, can I can I please bring him in? Can I? Will you guys allow that? Will you be okay if I bring this man in? Because I am a big fan of Hassan. Um, if you want to download TW, just search um, Total Extreme Wrestling 2016 on Google, and you should find it. So that's the game. Yes, you guys are gonna allow it. Yes, thank you. I want to see if I can get him into developmental. Actually, he might not be any good, so I might give him three, two years. He'll go to developmental, so we can bring him back, and look, we can give him that risky um, gimmick. It's been enough years now. We can bring him back, so his stats, mm, okay. Good mic skill still. He's in ring work. is not amazing, but some developmental work could be good. Make him a star again. 
would be really fun too. Percy Pringle. Hmm. Yeah. Don't probably need him right now. Um, anyone else? Tori. Nah. 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 Alright, so let's go down to the next level. Regional level. So here we go. Plenty of names. Put the rocket on him and send him to the moon. Yeah, I mean, we'll see how he goes. See how he goes. Certainly someone we can bring in and be and get to that point. I, he's not going to be as good as he is in um, our 06 playthrough, that's for sure. Alright, so I'll just scroll down. Alex Shelley, working in TNA. I might shortlist Shelley. He's someone I'd like to get. Alison Skipper, she's... Her picture looks familiar, but... Uh, Ashley Lane, Madison Rain, we'll shortlist her. Austin Aries, so Aries is working Ring of Honor right now, so absolutely could sign him. Um, he's 31, okay, popularity. His in-ring work is pretty good, Not nothing exceptional, like, out of this world, but certainly one of the, the better workers. So, we could think about it. Like I said, I don't want to sign... You guys don't want me to sign every indie name possible. But, um... Ares is certainly a notable guy. So, it's not like Ares is a no-name guy now and becomes a star. Ares was pretty damn well known in 09. So... Very small, though. Very small. So, probably wouldn't be a signing WWE would make. Now, Road Dog. Now, I'm thinking maybe of bringing back um, the new Age Outlaws to be a veteran team just to give us another team for the the tag division because we really are lacking teams they don't have a lot of popularity right now but you could bring them back just have them be like a jobber team or just a lower mid card team just to fill in the the blanks a bit so that might not be a bad idea you guys are saying yeah okay check Tommy and Tommy and will be pretty pretty shit so we'll have a look though so we might Billy Gunn though is 45 don't have Road Dog as your booker yeah I agree you might be able to do something with Brent Albright who is that oh, he's down here we'll get to him no job in the outlaws they're just so unpopular though that's the other thing I mean, you could give them a little bit of a run. They're still, they're still good. Oh, Vince doesn't like him. Oh, oh, a lot. Oh, wait, what? Like, all of DX don't like him. Okay, well that might shut that down. Oh, Big Daddy V. So Big Daddy Voodoo. Um, so Viscera. Hmm. I'm gonna say no. We don't need Viscera. He's time has passed. Big Vito, no. Goldberg, think about it. Bob Holly, nope, nope. Brent Albright, let's have a look. So Ring of Honor cup of guy. Um, yeah, potential. Kendrick. Kendrick. So you could bring back London and Kendrick, but I think London's pretty well hated. Um, Vince McMahon doesn't like Kendrick, so that's not good. <laughs> that kind of shuts that down. Might put him on the short list, though. Um, let's have a look. Candice Michelle. She would have just left in 09, yeah. In that case, we probably don't need her then. Cheerleader Melissa. She's working in TNA, but she's good. Cheerleader Melissa's good. So we might keep an eye on her. Uh, right, Ricardo Rodriguez. Might be a bad idea for a manager for Del Rio, but don't need him right now. The Wildcat Chris Harris or Braden Walker. Um, yikes. He's very good in TNA, but um, as a tag team, but not real good on his own. Yeah, Chris Hero. So, this is one of the bigger ones. This is one of the big names we could get. Chris Hero, working 
uh, Ring of Honor, PWG, and Noah. So, and Cesaro, you've got yourself a magic team right there. So, Cesaro and Hero, they came in, like, what, 2011 or something like that? Hero might have been a little bit earlier. So, it's around about this time anyways, a little bit later, but it's nearly 2010. So, you could do it. Sound corrected. Chris Sabin. Ooh, Sabin's pretty good. Shortlist him. Chuck Palumbo, yeah. Old Chuck, he had a few runs. Um, yes, yeah, so Cesaro as well. Let me give Cesaro four years. Cesaro is awesome. So, let's have a look at Cesaro's stats. So, they're nothing spectacular, but they are on the upper end of being good. So, he is definitely good, but nothing incredible. Like nothing, not as good as Hero, but still definitely good. Just sign people doesn't matter if they're indie darlings. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Like, some people will be criti you know, criticized if I sign too many guys. And I don't want to sign too many guys. But um, I do want to get who I want, though. Plus, I'm WWE. I can sign whoever the fuck I want, and they're going to sign with me because I'm freaking WWE. <laughs> um, let's have a look. DDP, bit old. Eddie Edwards, might keep an eye on him. Um, Davy Richards actually has insane stats as well. Well, at least I thought he did. He's one of the better work. Yeah, he's got a lot of stats in, in the 80 mark or close to, so he's very good. Davy Richards, if you've ever played EWR, Extreme, um, Extreme Warfare Revenge, he's always one of the best in the game. He always has crazy, crazy good performances. Sami Zayn, El Generico. Don't want to get him yet, but I'll keep him on the shortlist for later. Let him keep working. He's only 25. He's got a lot more developing still to do. So I want to get him when he's at his best, not when he's still developing. Sign the Bucks. Nah. Not interested. At the moment. Um, A-Train's pretty good. Giant Bernard. He's... Um, very popular in Japan. Probably won't bring him in, but um, as we saw with our TNA playthrough, he has a lot of good matches. I don't know if he'll be able to produce that on this, but yeah, pretty good. I guess David Richards recovered from the perma death. Yeah, he did. He did recover from that. He had the big comeback. It was like a Vince McMahon comeback. Homicide. Homicide. Um, Laura on the top. On the the food chain, I guess. He's a mid-carder, though, in TNA. So even though you got 40 pop, that's worthy of being a mid-carder. He's got, um... Yeah, he's he's pretty good stats, too. He's someone that would be good for ECW because of his good hardcore ability. So, he might be an ECW potential candidate. Uh, the Briscoes, still pretty young. Pretty good, though. James Mitchell. Um, he's okay, stat, uh, mic skills. Not, nothing special. Yeah, Homicide for ECW would be really good. Really good. He's in TNA, though. So, do we want to throw him a contract? He's... Work in Japan as well. Yeah, screw it. We need someone for ECW, so we'll give him a year. Uh, we'll give him one year contract. See how he goes. Briscoes would be good for ECW. Yeah, true, but we don't want to. We don't want to murder Independence. We don't want to murder Ring of Honor. We tried not to murder them in our last playthrough, but it didn't really happen. We just had to murder them in the end. So many names to look at. Hmm. Here you go, Kenny Omega. So he's in R R ROH right now. He's a, a mid-range guy. He's nothing great. Nothing great. Not bad though. He's not terrible, but he's nothing. He's a you know he's good. He'd be you know he'd have 
65, 70 rated matches. I'll, I'll keep my eye on him, but I'm not a big fan of Kenny. I don't really care for him too much. Kenta, he is really good, as expected. He's out with an injury. He Oh, he's out for seven months. Oh, shit. Okay. So, Kenta will be on the back burner. He's gone. But, you look at his... No, how oh, hardcore's a little low. Great ball, brawler, though. Great chain wrestling. He's really good. He's great. Um, AJ Styles is under... TNA contract. Have I ever played EWR? I played so much of it, it's not funny. Um, Kevin Steen. Still early days for Kevin. But... Yeah, you know, his stats a bit like Kenny, but he's certainly a bit better than Kenny. Definitely better than Kenny. He's getting up there. He's, so he's improving. Um, Billy Gunn. So he's working in TNA still. And again, he's not very liked either. So I thought I could bring him back as the New Age Outlaws for a bit of a short little run, but it doesn't mean it seemed to be the case. Um, Rikishi? Nah. Um, we'll give him one. Mark Jindrak. Not doing a lot, is he? He's not terrible, but we've got no real place for him. A lot of these indie guys would be good in ECW. Well, we need to look at ECW and kind of reposition it and kind of look at it and say, how do we want to do it? So, for me personally, I think a mixture of really good wrestling and also that hardcore brawl style as well would be really good so that really good wrestling just to reach and market towards the hardcore audience i think is where we need to position ecw now i don't know if we're going to be allowed to change the product for ecw but i think that's what we're going to be going for um i don't think you can edit the product settings for one particular brand so but that's anyways that's how we're going to book it that's how we're going to position it so We'll go from there. Um, there is Matt Jackson from the Young Bucks. He's really bad. He's well, he's a spot monkey, but he can't really do much else at the moment. Popularity is okay. Yep, yeah, okay. Not, not terrible. Just don't bring in Raven. Yeah, Raven's too old. He'd be too old to bring in. Um, Monty Brown. This is when Monty Brown was in ECW, but then he left a couple of years. You know, he didn't last long. He, what, 07, 08 he left? So, Monty's a bit old, and his stats are not special. So, he's probably a miss. Good charisma, but yeah. Um, psychosis. Um, yeah. Mr. Anderson be the face of ECW. Yeah, I think so. Mr. Anderson, RVD. Uh, we might keep Christian there as well. Although, I don't really see Christian as an ECW guy. I think Christian probably should go to SmackDown or Raw. But definitely Van Dam and Anderson I see as the top guys. MVP, I might... I don't know. ECW or maybe just push him on Raw or SmackDown. Maybe we'll do that instead. Nick Jackson, similar, but we put him on the list. ODB. Yeah, ODB, she's alright. Um, Neville, so Park. Really good aerial and flashiness, so he's a really good high flyer. Um, I could send him into the developmental, but he's he's working a lot of promotions right now, so he's working a lot. So it's the thing is if you if you want if you want to sign someone's developmental you don't really need to if you're just strictly doing it for their developmental purposes if they're working in so many other companies they're wrestling enough so they're going to develop enough so you don't really need to you can revisit him later but if for example someone who's only working in one company for example paul london if you wanted him to develop you might not get enough developmental development out of him because he's only working in one company or if he's not working at all then yeah Check out Phil Shatner, a Shatter. 
Um, yeah, Gunner, he might be okay. I don't think his ring skills would be great, though. Um, someone wanted me to bring in Petey Williams. Yeah, he's, he's okay. He's not bad. But I don't really have anything or I have any desire to bring him in. He kind of let me down. Um, so here is Gunner. Good brawler. Decent at everything else. Mike skills are okay. Good star quality. So he's 27, so he's got a lot more work to go. You might might keep an eye on him. Maybe start to try an alliance with Ring of H and uh, Ring of H, Ring of Honor, and use him as a developmental company. Yeah, yeah, we could, but um, I think also having Ring of Honor as their own strong independent company would be also good, without our necessarily us poaching the talent. Here is Raven. So unfortunately for TNA, they've got him, so they're stuck with him. Thing is though, really good mic skills. Let's have a look. Is he a drinker? No, he's got no problems. He's got no problems. So he's got no drug issues. Wow. Then that would be really good to have Raven. <laughs> so they're probably lucky to have Raven. God. Wow. Um, Becky Lynch. So her ring skills are really, really good for a woman. Her mic skills are pretty good. She's not working anywhere, so I'm going to sign her. But um, apparently she's retired. She did have an injury, so that's actually going to affect us a lot. So she had some kind of um, severe head injury. So I don't know if we're going to be able to get her. We'd have to probably edit her to be able to get her again as a wrestler. We might revisit her. We might have to edit her. Raven for ECW. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. We do. I, I, I do like the idea of having a couple of veterans in ECW, whether they're crap or not, just to have that ECW feel. You know, like a Sabu or Sandman. You know, but Raven would be good, but he's in TNA. Rene Dupree, man, he went off the rails, didn't he? Rhino. Rhino's in TNA. But when his contract's done, I'll definitely be getting him. I like Rhino. He on ECW would be great. Scott Hall for GM. Yeah, yeah. It's an idea. We got Teddy Long for now. We'll see how good Teddy Long goes. Um, it might be nearly done here. Sabu. So can Sabu still go? Yeah, I think so. I think he could definitely do a hardcore match. He's got good enough popularity to be okay on our show. So I'll tell you what, I might bring in Sabu for a little run. Just to give us some old ECW guys. Just to give us that ECW feel. Doesn't want to work house shows? Uh, we'll get him to work house shows if Vince lets us. Oh wow, he still wants more, more money. Okay. No, Vince won't allow it. So, no house shows for Sabu. Unless that's a good... No. Nope. No, no house shows. That's okay. Nobody wants to see one house shows anyways. Reed Flair. Um, isn't... Yeah, that's just a sad story, isn't it? No. We don't want him. Sarah Del Rey. Really good worker. Don't know if she'd be a great fit for our women's roster, though. Val Venus. They do recommend bringing in Val. Kevin Thorne. Surprise, his popularity is not better. I guess it's been a long time now. He'd, he would be a good fit for ECW, but I don't know if his skills will really match up right now. Sabu vs. Homicide. Yeah, that would be good. It would be good. It didn't work out so good in um, TNA for, for me in my last playthrough, but I'm sure it would be pretty good in this one. Fingers crossed. Minoru... Min, Minoru Suzuki. Um, see... Yeah, he must be under contract or not popular in the US. Shelly Martinez. Mm, not a great worker. Stevie Richards. He spent some time in ECW, didn't he? He's currently in TNA, though. He did a lot of... He was in ECW for a while. 
So he's the type of guy that you could bring to ECW, but he's not much of a factor. Uh, you're going to bring ECW the TV title and tag titles. Yeah, I definitely do want to bring them that. Um, it's certainly a minor title. Tag titles might take a while because there's no teams, but certainly a minor title. Kevin Thorne and the vampire gimmick, yeah. Super crazy. He can still go. Super crazy. Uh, anyone else, really? The Sandman, 46. He's popular enough. He's got enough popularity. He's a, an awful, awful worker, though. He's so bad. His hardcore's not even great. Do you bring him in? He sucks in every way. <laughs> I mean... It'd be good for ECW to have him, but I don't know. I don't know, man. You guys let me know. Sandman, yeah or nah? Yay or nay? Nah. Lot of no's. Trevor Murdoch. We do have Lance Cade. Cade and Murdoch were a decent team. Oh, he's a TNA. Okay, I didn't even know he went, went to TNA. There you go. Everyone ends up in TNA. Sandman would be drinking the whole time. Yeah, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. I didn't think about that. And that pretty much is it for that level. I mean, we could keep... The next level is unknown, which is basically everyone. But um, the next thing you could do for signings is look at the great in-ring workers. And these are all the guys that you can sign. Um, so here's... um. So there's Abyss. Oh, man, Tina haven't been using him good enough. That's bad popularity for Abyss. He should be a little higher. But um, yeah, there's AJ Styles as well. So AJ's really good. He's really good. Would love to have him, but we can't get him. But um, we'll have a look at the guys we can hire. So, let's have a look. A lot of names we've already seen. Uh, Fergal Devitt, so Finn Balor. He's in New Japan doing his thing. Let him stay there. We'll let him stay there, but... You know, he's someone I could definitely think about bringing in. Tyler Black. Um, yeah, I didn't see Tyler Black. We'll get to there. We'll look at him in a minute. Um, Jay Lethal. Still young, early days for Jay Lethal. So, and he's working TNA. We'll, we'll let him stay there. Um, Asuka. So Asuka doesn't have a job right now, which is interesting. Her stats are, are pretty good. Surprisingly, I think I didn't think they'd be that good at this stage, but they're pretty good. So, because she doesn't have a job right now, we might give her one. I might give her a job and let her come in and do her thing. Vince, oh, yeah, Vince wants to save that $10 again. Doesn't want to sign a developmental. I guess that's fair. Doesn't really have the popularity at all, though. She's going to have to work FCW. So, we'll have to put it down there eventually, anyways. We want Asuka working somewhere, so she's got to come in and work. We can't have her doing nothing. So, she'll come in and do something, and work in developmental for us. Um, so, there is Suzuki. So, he's 41. Really popular in Japan. But, um, yeah, he's too old for us to really start developing right now. Um, Marafuji, he's good. I do like Marafuji. Paul London. Mm. If we had Kendrick, sure. Roddy Strong. Roderick Strong's got really good stats, actually. For being 26, that's, that's, a, that's, that's pretty well ahead of his time. So he's someone we might bring in later on too. Will this be uploaded? Yeah, I'll, I'll let this be available after the, the stream is over. I'm actually getting a little bit tired, but I, want, I need to finish this. I want to keep going. It's currently 2am where I'm at. 
once again, I really appreciate you guys coming out and watching. It's really, really positive. I've really been looking forward to doing this. I'm really glad that you guys have come out and supported it. Um, to Jerry, to Jerry's, um, to Jerry's pretty good. He's touring New Japan. He'd be someone I could see on ECW. He was on ECW back in the day, wasn't he? They don't have a lot of the history and stats in there, unfortunately, in this mod. It's not a very good mod, but it's all I could find. All right, so there, that, there you go. Um, what we might do, let's just have a quick look at um, Tyler Black. Seth Rollins is really good, so he's at the stage now. He's definitely WWE ready in terms of his stats. And he's currently working Ring of Honor. Very young still. Now, there's no rush to bring him in, but look, for someone like, you know, for ECW, someone like Tyler Black would be a nice fit. Not going to lie, he'd be a really nice fit for what I want to do with ECW. You're probably saying John Moxley, Dean Ambrose. He's got a little bit to go. He's he's not great. He's really not great. In every area, he's pretty poor. He's not great. But um, he's got a lot of jobs. And obviously the other guy, Roman Reigns. So we might give Reigns a developmental deal. Whether you love him or hate him. Um, Alright, so what we, I'll look at the other companies. They don't have a lot of companies in the game right now, but they've got the, the ones you would expect. We'll look at um, we'll look at TNA and look at their roster. So a lot of these guys will be on written contracts. So Abyss, AJ, um, Lashley, he's still he's in TNA. Booker T, he'll be coming to us though, hopefully. Um, Magnus, oh, he's there, okay. He's World Tag Champ. Christy Hemi, um, Xavier Woods, he was there. Christopher Daniels, I wonder how good he's going. Hernandez, I'd like to get Hernandez. Oh, we, we could. He's a, a paper appearance guy. Let's have a look, he's hardcore... Maybe just get Homicide on his own. We maybe don't need him. Hernandez. James Storm. Can't get him. What about Bobby Roode? He might be Robert Roode, yeah. Double J. He's pretty good. Who's Jesse Neal. Kevin Nash. 50 years old. Still working. Well done, Kevin. Um, Kurt Angle. So he's probably their most popular guy. And man, oh my god, look at those stats. 99 chain, 96 mat, 96 submissions, 95 basic. Oh my god, Kurt Angle's just a fucking machine. Oh my god, he's just, in, he's insane. Please let me get Kurt Angle back. Far out. Kurt Angle, tell you what, wow. Matt Morgan. Matt Morgan's good. I mean, he's terribly underutilized, but he's good. Mick Foley, he's still working. Well done, Mick. I could alter his contract, but no. Paul Heyman? No. No. That's the one guy we're missing from ECW is Paul Heyman. He never went to TNA. Now, I will say this. The person who did make this mod did say that they had made a couple of little changes for their own enjoyment. So they did alter TNA just a little bit to sign a few guys that actually weren't there. So there's a couple, of, potentially a couple of people that weren't shouldn't be there, aka Paul Heyman. So Paul Heyman, Paul Heyman's got to go. We've got to get rid of Paul Heyman. And we've got to sign Paul Heyman. Paul Heyman's got to be our ECW GM. Has to be. 
Bobby Roode, where is he at? Wow, 50 pop. Come on, Bobby. You gotta be better than that. Good enough stats, though. Joe. Oh, Joe's good. Joe's damn good. Damn, that's good. And not good enough popularity, though. He's gotta be better. Didn't have a great time in 09, 2010, though, I gotta say. Big Scotty Steiner. He's still going good. Sting. 50. 80 pop. That's still good. Still good. Sting, though, has pretty good stats. A lot better than 2006, I tell you that now. He's improved. Sting's gotten better. <laughs> um, yeah, so. Suicide, no. Nah. Taylor Wilde. So, we actually wanted to, you know, she's in our teen A run right now, but um, still not that good <laughs> in uh, 09. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, that's teen A. And just a quick look at New Japan while we're here. Now, I'm only really interested in their main guys. Uh, their over guys, so... Obviously, Tanahashi. Can't get him. Tanahashi's really good. Big popularity in Japan. Um, Nakamura. We'd love to get Nakamura. Man, That he's got really good brawling. He'd be really good. He'd be good for ECW, I reckon. I know you probably don't think that, but that hard-hitting, beat-you-up style might be interesting for ECW. I can't get Sting. Um, yeah, so there's Okada as well. Just 21, though. Just a 21-year-old. Shibata, I'm sure he's there. Um, oh, Carl Anderson's there. Might add him to the list. I don't know if Shibata's there. Maybe not. But uh, there you go. That's, T that's uh, TNA and uh, New Japan's roster. So, there, so we've made... So look at the, we actually haven't made that many contracts. I, we could have done a lot worse. Um, is it possible for a Jap Japanese guy to develop better English at the time? I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, now, the next step could be hiring and firing on our roster right now. So I know we've kind of really just played around. Please look at Ishii. Not, you know, I don't really want to get too many Japan guys right now because it, they take a lot of developing to do. And we've got so many guys right now. Um, so let's look at hiring firings. I mean, someone like Kalen Croft, you know, should he be gone? There's a lot of guys we could probably fire. But... Okay, so what we... Maybe we should fire people we don't want. Then we can call up some names that I think would be good for the roster. And go from there. So, Kalen Croft is work. He, he is a tag team. A jobber team. But, uh, yeah, he's... Five people we've never heard of. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, he can go. Never heard of him. Don't care. Goodbye. Um, Courtney Taylor. She's got nothing to offer. Eric Escobar. Eric. He's not awful. Eric's not awful. And he's got... He, oh, that's right. He's doing the Vicky Guerrero thing. That's right. He's that guy. He is not awful. I might keep him. Fire Poppy. <laughs> um, let's have a look. Jamie Noble. Do we really? Yeah. Do we really need him? No, he's actually. No, Jamie's a good worker. We'll keep him. Jimmy Wang Yang. Oh, he's doing this terrible gimmick, isn't he? Ray Gordy, the rapper. Ugh. 
I like Katie Lee, but I'm not liking this incest thing she's got going on. Funaki. Do we really need Funaki? I mean, he's not terrible, but he's 40. He's a job guy. Maybe we could have some new guys just bury the shit out of him first. Luke Gallows, he's okay. Mike Knox. Hmm. Mike Knox is okay. Virtual. There's not a lot. Um, Savannah. Savannah, she's horrible. Wow, she's really bad. She sucks. She's got to go. Sorry. Sorry, Savannah, but you you suck. Santino, oh man, I would love to fire you, but not yet. Shane and Mac, oh, he's still here. That's cool. We could we could use Shane. Slam Master J, far out. He's actually really shit too, not gonna lie. Oof. Can't fire all the no names. Yeah, you can't. Slam Master J, fire or keep? What do you guys reckon? I think fire. Roblox gives me a good idea. A draft. A draft wouldn't be a bad idea. We could start fresh and just go from there. Or do we just stick with the same rosters? Fire. Yeah. He sucks. He's got to go. Um, Stephanie. Stephanie up to... Stephanie looks weird in that photo. Anyways. 83. So Stephanie's pretty popular. I don't... I like the idea of Stephanie Commissioner and Shane Commissioner. I do like that idea. Not authority figure every week, but every now and then for a big, big thing or to keep the GMs in line. I do like that. I like what they're doing in real life there. Yeah, I would have kept him for a tag team, but he sucks really bad. Ted DiBiase needs to be on the same brand as Cody. Teddy Long? Teddy Long... Nah, Teddy Long's good. He's got 83 Mike, 88 Charisma, 76 popularity. So I was thinking about replacing him as GM, but Teddy's good. He, he is pretty handy. And there's no real need to do so. We don't really need to. We just need a raw GM. Tiffany... Um, I like the name Taryn Terrell, not Tiffany. I like that name better. So, she needs to go to Mental, to be honest. Trade Kofi for Ted. Um, Kofi's a bit too high. Kofi's 82, Ted's 69. would be an unfair trade. He'd be like a Ziggler for Ted or something. Tony Atlas, um, we've got nothing for him right now. He's a color commentator, but he's not actually a color commentator. When's his contract run out? Six months. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Don't know about him. Could get rid of him. Taryn was the ECW GM. Well, we're not going to have her be the ECW GM. I can tell you that now. Trent Beretta, mm. yeah, we'll keep him. Tyler Rex, yeah, we'll keep him, I guess. To be honest, he should probably go developmental. Send him down there. Uh, Vance Archer, so Lance Hoyt. Again, I prefer the, la the name Lance Hoyt. He's actually pretty good. Okay. So he's okay. So he's on ECW. So we'll, we'll let him stay. Kozlov. Um, Kozlov's good enough. We'll keep him. Regal. Yeah. 
Yoshitatsu. He's got enough popularity to be worth keeping him. Alright. So I guess we'll go through our developmental. Um, just have a look. This oh, Del Rio's name is really annoying me. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's the one. Alberto Del Rio, that's better. AJ Lee. Nah, we'll definitely keep her. Del Rio. Brett DiBiase. Well, he's pretty terrible, but he's a DiBiase, so I kind of feel like I should see how he goes. Tyler Rex was a Kurt Hawkins. Yeah, he was. I do remember that. Conrad. Um, he's a rookie, but he is terrible. Star quality's okay. Nah. Nah. He's gone. Daniel Bryan. Um, I think Daniel Bryan would be... I think Bryan should get the call up. I think Daniel Bryan should come to ECW or one of the other brands. I don't know yet. Well, we'll have a think about it. So I'll call Daniel Bryan up. Uh, David Otunga. No, we'll keep David. Derek Bateman. Keep him. Dino Carter. He was released after slow developmental uh, development. I can really see that because he's got no skills at all. Dino! Goodbye. Did you miss much? Yeah, only two hours of it. <laughs> no, not really. We're just sitting up the rosters. So realistically... You haven't missed much at all. We're just setting everything up. Chatting about it all. Just chilling. Donnie Marlowe. Um, he is a Samoan. So you kind of feel obliged to give him a crack. See how he goes. Alright, I'll keep him. Even though he's got a, a name. I don't like the name. Donnie Marlowe. But I don't like his other name. Tevita Fafita. Uh, Tevita Fafita. Uh, I like that better. I like that better. Welcome everyone who's come from school. Welcome guys. Have I still got Deuce and Domino? No. I should do this for Universe Mode 2. Kind of already done it though. We don't need to. Um, I might call him Bray Wyatt. Let's just do it now. Let's forget about the whole... Forget about the whole, um, what's his name? Husky Harris, that's the one. Let's forget that it ever happened. Getting Bray Wyatt from the get-go. Can't, can't change their gimmick, though, but that's okay. Um, Dylan Klein. Again, kind of shit, so I might... I don't want anyone who's shit into my development, so just, I'm just paying them and I'm never going to use them. We do need, like, bodies in, in developmental that's going to be, you know, to lose. But if they've got a bit of potential, sure. But if they've got no potential at all, then just let them go. Eli Cottonwood, I mean, he's seven foot tall. We'll keep him there because something different. Davida Fafita is Tanga Loa. Lo. I don't know. I haven't heard of it. It's Camacho. Oh, Camacho. Okay, yeah, okay. Okay. Um, Joey Matthews. I prefer Joey Mercury. I'd like to see him get somewhere, because Joey Mercury's good. Johnny Curtis. We'll leave him at Johnny Curtis for now. Johnny Prime. This guy um, it doesn't actually have bad stats, Johnny Prime. He's not amazing, but he's still very new. So he's someone who has a slight bit of potential. So he can stay. I don't like this Justin Angel. Justin Gabriel's better. 
Is Enzo on on here? Um, Enzo debuts in 2013, 2012-ish. This is worth staying up for. Yeah, I'm it's 2.30 a.m. for me, so I'm staying up too. Uh, I definitely hate the name Cavill, Caval, whatever. It's got to be low key. And low key, I'm gonna I'm gonna call up, just like Danny Bryan. I'm gonna call low key up. Chris Logan may have the worst haircut. What is that? Like that is terrible. Stats wise. Just as bad. Terrible haircut, terrible wrestler. See you later. Um, Lance Cade, keep on to him. Lennox, um, yeah. Lennox, Lennox, Lennox. Future endeavored. Leroy Morgan, hmm. Yeah. Leroy. Hope you can get some bookings on the indies, buddy. Um, just reading chat. Um, so let's what's her other name? Carly Perez. I like that. I do. I probably will call her Katrina or something though. She's great though, man. She. I'm looking. I hope she develops well. Uh, Mason Ryan. Yeah, we'll keep Mason, but he's got some work to do, for sure. Michael McGillicuddy, Curtis Axel. Yeah, he might be a factor in, um, FCW for a while. Might just change his name real quick. So he can stay down there. Tava. Tava's got a bit of potential, and he's got some popularity. He can stay. Why is Lance Kane developmental? He should have him with Trevor Murdoch. Um, Trevor Murdoch's in TNA, so we can't get him. Penny Cat. Oh, these two women. Oh my gosh, she sucks. She's really bad. Really, really bad. Good sex appeal, but... Bad as Mike's. Mike Steele's bad wrestler. She sucks. She's she's really bad. And she's four years in the business. She's terrible. She's got to go. Um, Penny Cash. Penny Cash. Well, I fired her on my 2012 playthrough, so I should probably fire her now. Because she doesn't get any better. <laughs> she doesn't end up getting any better. So she can go. Jeez, I fired a lot of women, haven't I? Rachel Lynn. God, she's terrible as well. She's really bad. Sorry. I know I need more women, but they're so bad. Like, there's no point. Serena, she's staying. I don't like this name. Change it to Ryback. I don't like that photo, too, but I think my um, graphics pack's glitched right now, so I don't want to mess with it. So I'll, I'll look at that later. Tamina, we definitely need to fix her age. She's not 21. So I wish she was. She probably wishes she was, but she's not. Taryn Terrell, yeah, she's going to be great, Taryn. I don't know. Her ring skill is not good enough, but I hope she can develop. She's only one year in, so you'd have to think so. Good enough mic skills. So what's this Tavita guy's name? You guys are all calling him... Uh, What's his name? If he's actually Camacho, I'd rather that not Leo Tonga. Tonga Lua. I'd rather Camacho because I know him as Camacho. If I call him um, the other name, I'll forget. Here he is. Sweet Poppy Sanchez. You know what? He's not actually that bad. He's not actually that bad. So he's got a terrible name. But he's not that bad. So he can stay. He's got a, a shocking name though. Shocking name. Sweet. What's his other name? Black Pain. Oh, there you go. Black Pain or Sweet Poppy Sanchez. What a difference that is. <laughs> 
He's the Black Pain! Sweet Puppy Sedge! Oh my god. That's incredible. Two completely different characters right there. Jeez. I should put Santino and Sweet Puppy Sanchez as a team. Just two scrubs. Two guys I know I'm going to hate. He is a comedy character, 75. I knew he should be. I should call him the Black Pain. But but he's now Sweet Puppy Sanchez to me. I can't get rid of that. Titus, he can stay. Tyler Rex, yeah. Wade. Wes Briscoe is terrible, but I might give him a chance to develop. He's a, just a rookie, so he might develop. Why do you hate The Rock? Who said I hate The Rock? Any teams to add in? David Otunga, Curtis Axel. Um, there's not really many teams to add, is there? Titles? Yeah, okay. So, do we end up firing pretty much our whole women's roster, though? How many do we end up left? No, we still got enough. That's enough there. We've got enough. Bare minimum. We'll, we'll add a few more. But that's enough for now. I'm happy with that. Is Mike Dalton in this save? I did add him in. Um, shit, what's his name again? Um... Uh, real quick, someone look up Mike Dalton's name. It's Wild something. Shit. Tyler, Tyler Breeze. Shit, I forget. Um, okay. So, we've done a lot, haven't we? We've really covered a lot. Just having a look at um, medical. It's just Edge and JR who are out right now, which is good. Good to know. Um, just looking at our size, um, we're currently 90 popularity. TNA, wow, just 55. Jeez, they haven't done well since I left them. <laughs> um, that's it, Matthi Matthias Wild or something. Whatever that is. Matthias Clement in this. So he's actually pretty good, to be honest. That's, that's that's above average stats. So he would actually be really good for FCW. So I might give him a good I'll give him a good contract. He's pretty good. Oh really? You will develop better. Alright, fine. But yeah, that's good. Um Serena should be in the main roster with Australian Society. Yeah, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. It's just CM Punk right now. That's a bit unfortunate, isn't it? I can't. I can't sign James Storm. I do have Beth Phoenix. If you don't hate him, then sign him. I don't need the Rock though. I mean, I'll add him to the. You know, I, he's doing movies, so he's not really back. Would be unrealistic. It's not that far away though, until when he would come, would return though. So, Wrestler of the Year was 2009 was Randy Orton, so there you go. Serena joined the Straight Edge Society in Jan 2020, 2010. Oh, okay, so the Straight Edge Society still hasn't really happened yet. Okay, so that's the 2010 thing. Okay. So we can we can save that. So here's the rankings. We're one, New Japan two, TNA three, Old Japan four, No five, DG six, Ring of Honor seven, NWA eight. There's there's still plenty of companies. Twenty companies. FCW's down nineteen. That's pretty shit. I kind of really want to look at um, starting a show, but um, I feel I feel bad. I probably shouldn't do that. I don't know. Now, the next thing we could do is assign everyone's push. Now, we might just go auto push. That will do a lot of it. But then, of course, you know, you can look at who's going to go on what brand. So we might do that. Now, we could do a draft. 
and just completely switch it up. Or we could just pinpoint who we want for each roster. Now, for ECW, for my vision for ECW, as I said earlier on the stream, is to have a show that has hardcore elements, so does have some extreme and physical matches, but also has really good in-ring performances. So I think a lot of the, the good in-ring performers I've got, certainly a lot of the new guys should, should probably feature there, with a, a couple of top-tier names to go with it. Now, the problem is, is a lot of the signings we've made aren't available yet because we haven't progressed further along. You guys want me to do a draft? Okay. So we can do a draft and then edit a couple of things to make sure teams are on the same brand and things like that. So, and I'll probably keep the champs where they are. I like the world title on SmackDown. I like the WWE title on Raw. The US, is that on? The US is on Raw. IC is on SmackDown. I like that as well. Okay, so, brand split. Complete draft. So, let's do it. Now, the thing is though, this this will get messy for ECW, because ECW, I want a specific style. So, we will have to play around with ECW and chop and change that. Hmm. Style of brands. ECW has a modern focus. Modern's probably right. It's a minor brand. No, ECW's got to be major. We're, we're trying to make it major. ECW like an nxt -ish brand? Yeah, I see that. Yep. Alright, complete draft. Let's do it. Let's just go for it. It'd be good, though, if I could not draft ECW, but we're going to. It's a lot of people to draft. All right, so... Next draft pick. So who's... So we just go... Shawn Michaels to SmackDown. There you go. So that never happened. Shawn Michaels never left Raw. So that's pretty crazy. That never happens. Oh, here we go. We've got a brand new sponsor. Thank you so much, Lee Morris Pitt, for sponsoring the stream. You are the man. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate that. I need to um, get a new emote for the chat. All I have right now is this Heyman emote, which is not great, but I need to do something. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. Um, so, yeah. So, Shawn Michaels and SmackDown. That's pretty crazy. That's That's number one. That's big. Randy Orton stays on Raw. Okay. Do a partial draft and exclude the guys you want excluded. Or can you do that? No, you can't really. Or can you like click on the person you want drafted? No. Then Michaels is back to Raw. Alright, no, we'll just do a complete draft. Draft everyone except champions. Yeah, Sean Michaels is not realistic. I might keep Sean on Raw. Yeah, so he's on Raw. So this will be the real one. So Sean's on Raw. Randy's on SmackDown. That's pretty big. Triple H to ECW. Yeah, that's not happening. He'll stay on Raw. ECW, Triple H. Okay. Vince is on SmackDown. Vince should be on any brand, really. Cena's on SmackDown. Alright. That's cool. Edge on Raw. Alright. Taker stays on SmackDown. Yeah, that's, he's the champ. CM Punk to Raw. Alright. Okay. I love how ECW is getting no one. Ray is on SmackDown. I think he was already there. Jericho to Raw. Jericho's on both brands. John Morrison, ECW. Well, John's the IC champ, so he he has to stay on SmackDown. Batista to ECW. Um, I don't think I can see Batista on ECW. No. 
think Batista's down SmackDown. Shane to SmackDown. I like the commissioner idea. Shane doing SmackDown. Stephanie doing Raw. And then Vince kind of does everything. So we might... That's okay. Miz on SmackDown. He's the US champ. He's got to go back to... Back to um, Raw. Um, Kofi Kingston to ECW. Now, I think Kofi Kingston to ECW, that's a good... Probably good move for him. I think that's a good career move for Kofi. I think he's a guy who could benefit there. He's not getting... There's no chance he's going to get pushed over Cena, Edge, and Punk. But he's a chance to get pushed on ECW. Big show on Raw. Christian is back there. Well, Christian's ECW champ, so he'll stay on ECW. Kane to ECW. So, I think Kane is a good fit for ECW. I think he's a guy who would fit fine on there. Truth to Raw. Okay. Swagger to Raw. Um, MVP to ECW. So there you go. I wanted, I wanted MVP to kind of get pushed on ECW anyways, but I was thinking maybe of keeping him on SmackDown or Raw. But there you go. So MVP to ECW. I can accept that. I like I said, I really want to push MVP. Cody Rhodes to Raw. Jerry Law to SmackDown. Um, I think Law will stay on Raw. We'll see. Ziggler to SmackDown, okay. Benjamin stays on ECW, so that's fine. I think Benjamin's a good fit there. Sheamus on Raw, yep. So they're kind of they're kind of getting the picks right. They've got a couple of, like weird ECW selections, but for the most part, they've kind of kept a lot of these non ECW guys fine. Matt Hardy on SmackDown. I was thinking maybe doing Broken Matt on ECW, but maybe we just won't. I don't know. I mean, Broken Matt was not for years, but still. We could do whatever the hell we want. Regal's now on SmackDown. Yeah, Regal on ECW to me just wasn't a right fit. I just didn't I didn't like that, so that's fine. Mark Henry to ECW, so Mark Henry and MVP were a thing. Uh, they're a tag team, so them on ECW is fine. And Mark Henry and ECW Yeah. I don't mind that. It does mean we have Kane and Henry on ECW though, so we'd Probably could lose one of them. I think probably having both of them on the same brand isn't necessary. I think two veterans, you probably want one on the other. Two monsters as well. Michelle McCool on Raw. I think the women's title is a SmackDown title. I don't know. Hornswoggle? Ugh. Yeah, he's on ECW. That's good. We can hit him with Kendo Six and putting through tables and shit when we get rid of him. It's working, Matt, now. Yeah, same thing. Drew McIntyre's on Raw. Yep, that's fine. Gold Dust, he's staying on ECW. Yeah, okay, sure. Ted DiBiast in SmackDown. I, I want Ted and Cody to be get to be together. Evan Bourne, SmackDown. Okay. Maurice, ECW. We're not going to have any women on ECW unless they're a valet. We're not going to have a women's division on ECW. Don't need it. Don't need to. Mickey James, SmackDown. Carlito, ECW. Hmm. No. Nah. Not, not to me. No. Put him on maybe Raw. Finley, ECW. I mean, to be honest, Finley needs to kind of retire. He's about done. He's about cooked. David Hart Smith on Raw, yep. Tommy Dreamer to SmackDown, no, Tommy's got to go to stay on ECW. Tony Atlas to Raw, I don't even, not even doing anything with him. I will miss the TNA TW series. It's not going anywhere, dude. We're going to do another TNA episode in a day or two. I was going to do one today, but I decided to stream this instead. Molina ECW, yep, not happening. Tyson Kidd Raw, that's good. JR to Raw, that's good. Natty ECW, nope. Hurricane ECW, yeah, sure. He was already there. Chavo to SmackDown. Matt Stryker ECW, that's good. He was meant to be there. 
Beth Phoenix, SmackDown. Chad, uh, Shad to ECW. No, we might put Crime Time in the tag division on Raw SmackDown. We need him there. Luke Gallows to SmackDown. Um, whatever brand. I think Punk's on Raw, so he needs to follow. Primo to ECW. Well, he's got to go wherever the Carlito is. Am I going to have Miz and Maurice together? Yeah, I should do that. I should do that. I don't know if they I don't think they're together in this game yet, but I do like that pairing a lot. Is equal to Raw. That's fine. Sergeant Slaughter. Okay, he's on ECW now for some reason. Mike Knox to Raw. Stone Cold. He's on SmackDown. He won't be on any brand, really. Katie Lee, ECW. She's still managing. I probably want Katie Lee to be in the women's division, so we might move her. Pat Patterson to Raw. Sure. Malenko to SmackDown. Anderson Raw. Layla to SmackDown. Fire Tyson Kid, no. Santino to Raw. He's someone we should fire. Kozlov to Raw. Jared Briscoe to SmackDown. Eric Escobar to SmackDown. Wherever Vicky is, she needs to be, needs to be there. Kelly to Raw. Masters to Raw. You know, I think Carlito and Chris Masters were a great team. I wouldn't mind doing that again, but I think we've got Primo there. Tatsu to Raw. Zack Ryder to SmackDown. So ECW is losing a lot of guys. Joey Styles to Raw. That's not happening. Vicky to SmackDown. That's good. JTG. Um, I think he was on ECW. Shad was. So he, that needs to be fixed. Laurinaitis. Who cares? Who cares? Charlie Haas to ECW. That's good. Him and Shelton should just be on the same brand. Um, Nikki Smackdown. Where's Bree going? Low keys. Low key to ECW. That's good. They got that one right. Michael Hayes Raw. Bree to Raw. We need the Bellas to be together, surely. Daniel Bryan is SmackDown. Well, I guess we can't have everyone. I don't know. I, I, I want to have Brian on ECW, I think. I think he's the type of guy who would really fit well there. So I might change that. Paul Birchall to SmackDown. Katie Lee was on ECW, I think. So we can probably send Paul to SmackDown and be with Katie Lee. I don't see Paul Birchall as an ECW guy anyway. How many have we got left? Still quite a few. Leisha to, to Raw. Eve to Raw. Rosa Mendez is back. I'm surprised she even has a job. A oh, Stephanie. Raw. That's good. Um, Jillian to Raw. Yep. Michael Cole to ECW. No. Trent Barretta to Raw. Jimmy Wang Yang, SmackDown. Here's some refs. Maria to Raw. Lance Hoyt to SmackDown. Jeez, ECW's getting no one, are they? Man, it's like real life. They just get freaking no one. Gal Kim, SmackDown. ECW for Scotty Armstrong. Noble to Raw. AW to Raw. Funaki to ECW. Yay. Me? <laughs> My character. Apparently, I'm going to SmackDown. Um, Teddy Long, SmackDown. Good. These are just referees left now. Matthews to ECW. Yep. ECW. That's it. Okay. So there's a few changes need to be done. So ECW. Let's take a look. I don't think Batista is a good fit for ECW. I mean, yes, it gives a big star power, but... We're looking for good wrestling. Batista is not going to offer that, so... I might... I think SmackDown might suit Batista. I don't know. I don't know. I think SmackDown needs Batista. They've got Cena and Randy already, but I think Raw's got Punk, Triple H, and Shawn Michaels and Edge. So I think SmackDown could use Batista. Carlito, as I said. 
I think. I mean, ECW for Carlito. Hmm. Nah, I'd rather him be in the tag division. I don't know. We we do need a tag division though here on ECW. Uh, Alright, screw it. We'll keep him. Charlie Haas, yeah. Finley. Like I said, Finley's got to re nearly retire. He's nearly he's fifty one. I mean, we can keep him on ECW, but he's on his last legs. A lot of old guys, though. Gold Dust. Yeah, I don't know. Sure. Um, John Morrison's got to go to SmackDown for sure. Now, we will give someone back to ECW for losing John Morrison. And Batista. I, I like... I like Kane on ECW. I do. ECW needs some star power, and Kane would be that monster that can help that veteran... Just to kind of help out a bit, so I'm I'm happy with that. Happy with that. Katie Lee, she needs to go to SmackDown. Kofi might Kofi might be our big name. Him and Kane could be our top two guys. Loki, yeah, I'm looking forward to him on here. Henry. Now we do have RVD, Mr. Kennedy coming in as well. Um, Sabu and Tommy Dreamer. So there's a few names still to come in here. Shad Gaspard. So just these names don't suit ECW. Triple H, he must go to Raw. He's not... <laughs> Could you imagine Triple H on ECW? Wow. Alright, so... Let's... Any members of Sanity? Jeez. I think you're in the wrong time period, brother. Eric Young, yeah, but that's about it. Um, so Raw. Who can Raw give to ECW in exchange for a couple of names they lost? Maybe Mike Knox? But if we've got Kane, do we need Mike Knox? No. Maybe no one there really needs to. Um, okay, so SmackDown's got probably a lot more people than they need. So Christian, he's definitely got to go back to ECW. He's the champion, after all. Daniel Bryan, I'd like to have him on ECW. That's one of our future names. Dolph Ziggler on ECW. Hmm. No. Maybe Evan Bourne? Evan Bourne might be a okay name yeah we might put Evan Bourne on there ECW just because we did lose a few names and he's he might fit the bill he's he's pretty good good high flyer let's have a look JTG I think he I put Shad on Raw so Matt Hardy I'll uh, we'll keep Hardy on SmackDown. Nikki, she's got to go to Raw to join Bree. Sheamus to ECW? No, I really don't see Sheamus as an ECW guy. The Miz, he's got to go to Raw. And, oh yeah, Tommy Dream to Raw to ECW. So this is going to be a lot of work looking after three brands, but... I'm going to give it a crack. I'm going to give it a shot for sure. Alright, so let's have a look at ECW now. See if it's looking any better. Still a small roster, but there's enough guys there. Oh, we've got to change Rima Maurice. Now, I've got to look at the women's titles. The Divas title is on Raw. The women's title is on SmackDown. So, Mar Michelle... Shell's got to go to SmackDown. What about Melina? What brand is she on? She's on ECW. Yeah, right. And I might put Maurice on Raw. And look at The Miz. Oh, yeah, he's dating Maurice. Okay, that works. That works well. 
So we can have that pairing. That's cool. I like that. Drew McIntyre. Hmm. Not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. Oh, yeah. Ted to Raw with Cody. Or Cody to Raw to SmackDown. Let's have a look. Just real quick. Once we start playing a few weeks, we'll start to realize what we need to fix. It's a bit hard to kind of look at it right now and go, yep, we need to fix this. You need to kind of play for a, a while, then you kind of look at it and see. So you got to kind of look at your mid-carders, how many we've got on SmackDown. Not a lot, but is there any difference on Raw? So Raw's got a couple more, so... We could send... Might send... Um, might send Drew McIntyre to SmackDown. Just to give another mid-card guy. And... Cody Rhodes as well. And we look at Chris Jericho and the Big Show. They're on no brand because they're tag team champions right now, so they've got to be on both. They could even go to ECW if we wanted to. Um, so yeah, they can do that. So just look at our main eventers. Just make sure that's even. So Punk, Michaels, Miz, Triple H will carry Raw. That's their big four. SmackDown's got Batista, Orton, Randy Ray, and Undertaker. That's definitely probably stronger. That's pretty damn good. That's that's nice. That's pretty nice. ECW probably doesn't even have any main eventers. Um, it's just got Kane. Um, upper mid carders. ECW's got Christian, Kofi, Henry, MVP, and Benjamin. That's pretty good. That's that's a nice core. It's not exceptional, but good enough. You add in Van Dam and Kennedy. That's pretty good for ECW. SmackDown, Cody Rhodes, Ziggler, Morrison, and Matt Hardy. That's a good upper mid card as well. That's that's handy. That's that's pretty good. What about Raw? Raw's got Swagger, Truth, and Sheamus. So you can probably say, yeah, SmackDown's a little stronger. So maybe someone from SmackDown needs to jump over. So we might have Matt Hardy jump over to Raw. Matt Hardy jumps to Raw. That might even it up a little bit there. Both world champs are on SmackDown. Move Cena to Raw. Ah, that's the problem. That is the problem. Yes, you're correct. Thank you for that. That's the problem we're having. So that's why SmackDown was a little stronger. Now, we probably could have Matt Hardy go back to SmackDown. Um, now, let's look at the, the main event of Raw. There you go. Punk, Cena, Michaels, Miz, Triple H... That is strong. Yeah, that's strong. Miz, probably not on that level, but you, you, you take that any day. Batista, Randy, Ray, and Undertaker. Oh, and Edge as well is on Raw, but he's injured. So, we might send Edge to SmackDown when he comes back, and that will give them five and five. So, both brands will have five top guys. Five main event guys each. And then that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. So that pretty much evens it out. And we want to try and make it as even as possible. Obviously ECW doesn't have that. But ECW is going to be a work in progress. We're going to try and make guys into stars rather than put established names on there. Just the just Kane on there will do. And Kofi, Kofi Kingston has enough popularity to be considered a main eventer. They just haven't given him that status. If The Miz is a main eventer, then Kofi Kingston is one, in my opinion. So, back to the start. We played all our songs. That's a good effort. Alright, so probably the... Oh, we need to put Jerry Lawler on Raw. Michael Cole is not on ECW. Michael Cole on none. Joey Styles on ECW. Matt Str Matt Stryker. 
Yep. Josh Matthews on none. He's on superstars. Go on to medical and give edge surgery. Can I do that? Yeah, I can. So that gave him one month less. Thanks for that. One month less for Edge. I didn't I didn't think I could do that. I forgot. So Edge will be back in three months. So having a look at our pay-per-view schedule. So we are currently getting ready for TLC. Rumble, Chamber, Mania, the next few ones. Extreme Rules Over the Limit, Fatal 4. Ugh, Fatal 4. Mm -hmm. Definitely didn't want to change, might want to change that one. Money in the Bank, Summer Slam, Night Champion, Tell Himself, Bragging Rights. Why is Bragging Rights and Survivor Series so close together? That doesn't make sense because if you have Bragging Rights where Over the Limit is, then you could also do a brand versus brand match later at Survivor Series. So you have two opportunities to do brand versus brand if you want to, rather than just one. That doesn't make any sense to me. Have Edge win the Royal Rumble? Um, I don't think so. At this point, an early Rumble prediction might be CM Punk for me. I think CM Punk might be my pick for the Rumble. Um, Edge, I don't think Edge will be back in time. Edge has got three months to go. The Rumble's in two months, so Edge won't make it. Um, there's no one really else that I could see winning the Rumble. I think Punk might be the pick. CM Punk versus John Cena at WrestleMania. That's that's good enough for me. I, th I think that's great. I like that. Lost in Space? No, that didn't exist. That was made up. So, yeah. Punk and Cena versus for, for Mania, I think would be good. Undertaker, I mean, we all know Undertaker and Shawn Michaels was the match, but they're on different brands. Undertaker and Shawn Michaels would have a great match, but wouldn't have probably as good because they're both baby faces. You'd have to turn one. And at this stage of their careers, you probably wouldn't want to to, to do that. Um, so, Randy win Rumble. Mm, I think he won it in 09 already, didn't he? Yeah, he did. So he doesn't need to win that again. So, I think Punk's the logical pick. So, Taker, Taker versus Randy... For the belt. That's if Taker makes it to Mania. That's your option. You got Batista. Batista vs. Taker. Or Randy vs. Taker. Are really your only SmackDown options for the world title. Both are good. But both might not be like, oh wow, this is fantastic type of thing. But Randy is really a red hot. So Batista, uh, Randy and Taker will be a really big match. Really, really big match. Triple H, Punk, Cena, Mania. That might not be a bad idea. But we could squeeze Triple H in there somehow. Um, I guess the next thing is, is storylines. Make Cena heal. Not yet. Maybe later, but we've got... If we're going to do CM Punk and Cena, Punk's already here. We don't need to do a turn. You build up Dolph to take on Taker of Mania. Jeez, your game. That's, that's a big call. That's a big, big call. Edge versus Taker 2. Is Edge heal? I think he's face. No, he's heal. So, we could do Edge. Yeah, we could do Edge. Hmm. But I, I think... Yeah. Definitely Punk, I think, will be the, the Rumble winner at this point. He's my pick. Um, Alright, so storylines. Let's do some storylines. Let's have you guys help me establish some storylines. I know there's already some, but I'm just going to start brand new, clean. Let's go. Because everyone's changed brands. Now, our women's division might be a little bit off. We might need to look at that in terms of brands. But um, let's look at some storylines. So, the problem is, is that it's difficult to kind of look at who's on what brand. But, we'll start with ECW. It's a little bit easier. I guess though with ECW we've got a few new guys coming in, so we almost need to book two weeks of you know at least one week's worth of matches to to kind of get everyone that we want. But to do that we need our storylines established. Let me 
you just have anyone, any in ring push ECW. All right, so let's do ECW. So Christian's the champion right now. So straight away, you could probably have Christian versus Kane for the championship. Kane being our top heel, Christian and Kofi our top two faces. The problem with that is though, is if Christian beats Kane, then Kane will lose some popularity and we want Kane to be strong. So probably not. Shelton Benjamin's a baby face, so we, that kind of is out of the question. MVP's a face. We kind of need some heel turns. Everyone's, we've got too many baby faces. And to me, MVP's a better heel. Um, I would turn MVP heel. Turn him heel. He's already got a heel gimmick, so he actually has issues already. So he's already got a heel gimmick. Uh, Mark Henry. Mark Henry's a far better heel as well. He could be. He could crush everyone as a heel. The only problem is, is Mark Henry. Is we've already got Kane. So do you want two monster heels? Maybe. Christian versus Loki. Loki is too far down the food chain to do that at the moment. Definitely down the line. But if we turn Henry heel, then we can keep the MVP and Henry tag team, which will be very handy to have. So we might do that. And he, he he's not a very good baby face. He's a not a good face at all. What about Umaga? We're still trying to sign Umaga. We're waiting for the contract to come through. So, Brute Gimmicks is Mark Henry's best. So, um, Henry... He might have a unique gimmick called World's Strongest Man, maybe. No. 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 Doesn't look like it. Maybe legit? Legitimate? World's Strongest? He has an 85 on legit. Not as good as Brute, which is 90, but that would be. Our fans probably wouldn't respond to such a subtle and complex gimmick. What's, the, what's so complex about being the world's strongest man? It's like, oh, I'm really strong. That's it. How is that complex? Alright. Well, if it's not going to respond well, we probably shouldn't do it. Okay. A grizzled veteran. Maybe just a monster. Um, turn Kane face. That might be a good idea. But then we're left with three... When we bring in Van Damme, we'll have probably four high-level baby faces then. Anderson will be... A, Kennedy will be heel. Henry MVP heel. Hmm. Raw, SmackDown, and ECW. Raw and SmackDown are one and a half hours. ECW is at one hour. Um, I think that's not a bad idea because ECW doesn't have as big of a roster. And Raw and SmackDown, one and, hour, one and a half hours, will mean that we don't have to book as much. And we don't have a major roster for either, so that might be a good time. Um, Nation of Violence. That sounds like... That's close to his, you know, Hall of Pain thing that he's got going on. So we might go with that one. He's going to turn. Yep. Natty, you need to leave for ECW. Put you on SmackDown. Alright, so Daniel Bryan, what's his gimmick? Best in the world. Rated very good. Alright, sure. Low key. Low key. I think low key as a heel would be good because then we could do low key and Bryan to start off with if he wanted to. And we don't need to change his gimmick, so that's good. The roster is too thin right now. Yeah, really thin. But in saying that, these are all the signings we've, we've got coming. That's a lot of signings. Some of them are going to go to developmental, but a lot of them will be heading to the main roster as well. So whilst it will be thin, we'll see some change. Will this be uploaded? Um, I hope so, yeah. It should be. Yeah, this will be, I will upload this afterwards. Don't worry. Turn Shelton heel. That might not be a bad idea either. I think that's a good call. He's already got a cocky gimmick, so he needs to be a heel. 
So Shelton is a heel, yeah. Okay. Yep. 70 popularity for Shelton. So as a heel, that would be good. And that would balance things out well. So with that, we could do... We could definitely do... Christian versus Shelton. Excuse my spelling. It's 3 a.m. Shelton versus Christian. And put that for the world title, of course. Um, we could... We did want to turn Kane, didn't we? Kane's not a good face, though. Wow. Hmm. Maybe we don't need to turn Kane. Two monsters, so what? Lots of bad guys to take on. If he's, su if he's such a good heal, though, maybe we just don't mess with it. So maybe we go... This could be a this will be a good few to start off with, but Kofi and Kane, do we do it now or save it? Hmm. Probably don't. We could save that because that's our biggest match we could do right now on ECW is Kofi and Kane. The biggest popularity is those two. So we could do that now or we could wait. Um. Is that WrestleMania caliber? Maybe Royal Rumble caliber. Hard to say. You guys think save it? Kofi versus MVP, but I want MVP to win. I want MVP just to mow through everyone. MVP's got to get going. Kofi and Mark Henry might not be a bad shout. Build Kofi up for a bit. Yeah. Maybe WrestleMania pre-show. Yeah, probably. Sad, but a lot, probably ECW won't get much time in, in WrestleMania. What about Tommy Dreamer? Tommy Dreamer. Good mid-card face. Tommy Dreamer versus MVP. That might be a good starter for MVP. And I actually might put Henry in that as well. Put them in there. Have them team up and be a thing. So a bit of against the odds for, for Tommy Dreamer. But what we might do is we might add in Sabu to that for a bit of backup for Dreamer. Or maybe Van Dam. I don't know. As a bit of backup. Yes, I'm still doing the TNA series. Um, and we probably could do a one more feud for ECW. We don't need to do too many. Because at the end of the day, there's not a lot happening on there. Um, I don't even know if we can. I mean, we probably should have Kane and Kofi doing something. Maybe we just do it now. Start off strong. Or we could do an undercard feud. Daniel Bryan. He's only an opener level, though. Bryan needs a lot of work. So does Loki. So we might have them beat up a few guys. Daniel Bryan and Loki will beat the shit out of Hornswoggle for sure. Alright. We might come back to that. If we feel like there's another few that need, needs to be done, we might do that. Maybe we can do Evan Bourne versus Carlito. Just another little mid-card feud. Something to do. Evan Bourne, Carlito. Or... Or we could do Kofi and Carlito. I mean, it's a big difference. Carlito. Yeah. We want... Let's have Kingston get a nice win against Carlito. And also, it would give Carlito some good exposure and might help him out. So some good matches with Kofi might just bump Carlito's popularity up a little bit. Alright, so that's good. That's three nice rivalries to start. And then we have a few floaters around. Kane can kind of work with a few different guys. And these guys can establish themselves well. Not not a lot. We're not going to go crazy with rivalries. But we can build our show, ECW, every week around these three storylines. I like that. Now for SmackDown. A little bit harder for SmackDown. Um, SmackDown, so... 
So, Randy Orton, no, um, Undertaker's the champion right now. Now, you have to look at the Undertaker and think, okay, he's 44. Do we keep him on a regular week-to-week -week basis, or do we keep him as a bit more of a special attraction? Maybe just works the pay views in terms of matches. I think that might be the best role for the dead man. Keep him special, but still regular enough. Every pay per view is pretty good. Doesn't have to be every week, but you know the odd SmackDown match here and there is fine. But not every single week, I don't think. So Undertaker in that just in saying that, I think an, an idea might be okay. So next pay per view is TLC. So we don't want to give away. These are out. We've got Batista and Undertaker, Randy and Undertaker, and Edge and Undertaker. Those are our best three options right now. So we don't want to give away those options at the moment. So what we might do for the Undertaker is find an upper mid carder to work with for the next couple of months. So we'll give someone some, an opportunity for some exposure. And I think someone did say Dolph Ziggler and the Undertaker. You know what? I think I might actually go ahead and do that. It's either Ziggler or Rhodes. We can do Cody Rhodes and Ted DiBiase as a tag team. Put them there. Whereas Ziggler can go for either the IC title or have a shot at the world. So, who do you guys want? Cody Rhodes. What's my heart? He's a face. Okay. Ziggler or Rhodes? TLC, it might be a bit of a shitty pay-per-view because I might... Because Royal Rumble's so close and then WrestleMania season, so you don't want to give away those big matches before WrestleMania, in my opinion. So I think you kind of just go with a bit of a filler show, establish some rivalries. Ziggler, probably. I think Ziggler would probably give a better match than Cody. Let's have a look. Yeah, Ziggler's a much better wrestler. So we'll go Ziggler. Hey, it gives Ziggler opportunity to shine. Gives Taker to be a reason not to be on the card as well. So, Dolph Ziggler and Undertaker might not be a dream match, but it's a nice way to start off. Gives Taker a win, but also gives Ziggler a chance to show him how he can do, how if he can hang, and if he's a potential world champion caliber superstar at some point. This is a great opportunity for him to shine. Um, so it does leave us though with a few other choices, you know, Ray and Batista, do we go with that? Randy and Ray, we do need another big high profile match. Now, these, this rivalry can head into the Rumble, so we can have this match and then they can have a bit of a, you know, back and forth before the Rumble. So Ray... If we went with Ray, Batista, or Ray and Randy, I wouldn't be too upset if we gave that one away. Because I don't see that as WrestleMania caliber. Undertaker, anyone with Undertaker, Randy and Undertaker, Batista and Undertaker, that's WrestleMania. But Ray, Ray and Batista, that's a good pay per view match. Randy and Ray, that's a solid pay per view match. So, Randy and Ray might be better option we don't want to have someone like Randy Orton not involved so Randy Orton versus Mysterio we'll go with that and that's a strong feud that's a strong feud that we can have featured on the pay-per-view because you've got to remember the pay-per-view we won't be able to fit every match on so you've got to kind of pick and choose and also um, also for the Royal Rumble, Randy and Ray mixing it together, maybe even go to Elimination Chamber would also be strong. And if you really wanted to, you could even push it to Mania if you really wanted to have a good feud out of it. Alright, so we need an icy title feud. Interesting, got Randy's theme going as well. Good timing. Icy title, so... I guess John Morrison hasn't got any... Matt Hardy is a face, so that won't work for Morrison. So Morrison can work with McIntyre, who's 
66 pop, that's good enough. McIntyre, or well, Gallows is going to be on Raw. So Gallows needs to go to Raw to join CM Punk, so he's gone. So Raw might need to give someone else, or the next couple signings might go to SmackDown instead of Raw. So William Regal and Morrison, or McIntyre Morrison, are probably your only picks there. Now, William Regal is a far better worker than Drew McIntyre. So if we're looking to get a better match, that might be, might be the one. And also, we might try and push McIntyre. So we might try and protect him. Whereas Regal, he's a veteran. If he loses, so what? So we might go with uh, Morrison and Regal. And again, a nice little way to kind of get things going. Now, probably all we need now is a women's, and if we want to, a tag team feud. Now, again, all the, these robberies don't have to be featured every week, but it would be ideal if we can. I don't know if we really have any teams on SmackDown. I mean, who do we got? Okay, so we got Legacy. Have they got any opponents? Not really, not really. <laughs> Great. We might need to make some teams, to be honest. That also happened to TLC. There you go. I have never seen TLC 2009, so there you go. I should probably... This, this series might encourage me to watch some 2009, 2010. It's a period of time I've refused to watch. I've got no tag teams. I've got no tag teams. What about Raw? Raw, I've got the Hearts. I've got Crime Time. That's about it. <laughs> DX. Um, straight Edge, straight edge so even though I don't think they're technically a team. Oh, yeah, they are. So you've got four teams there. Yes, this will be a video after it's done. It's going to be about three hours long. I really apologize for that, but that's just how it's going to be. It's a streaming series, really. I'm streaming the series. If you want to watch it on the replay, you can. Just a problem, isn't it? We just don't have any teams. I guess it was a bit of a problem for WWE in general. Um... We need some baby faced. We need a baby faced team. Um, wow, we really. We really don't have many faces on this. Oh my god, look, that is really out of proportion. Shit. We got way too many heels in this brand. What's Raw got? Raw's pretty even. Raw's pretty even. We've just got so many heels and SmackDown. Why is that? I mean, we, no wonder why we've got no face teams. Yeah, Big Show and Jericho, they're heel teams, so that won't really help us right now. So they'll have to feud with someone on, on Raw. Um, shit. Alright. Who can we turn? I mean, we could turn Hawkins and Ryder. Hawkins and Ryder is probably more of a face team, so we will turn them. 
Hawkins hasn't, hasn't debuted yet, so that's fine. Oh, apparently he still needs to do an actual turn. Okay, that's annoying. DX vs. Jericho. We might do that match at WrestleMania, DX vs. Jericho. I think that's a Wrestle that's a WrestleMania match. That's big. That's the best match that we could possibly get out of our tag division right now. Probably ever, but yeah. That or the Brothers of Destruction vs. Jericho. Um I mean what can we do for Kurt Hawkins? Comedy. Not a lot really there. I mean a realistic gimmick. Realistic, what can Hawkins do? Some really shitty gimmicks here. Oh man, a young lion. I mean, nah, he's a bit too old for that. A badass. Yeah, Kurt Hawkins is a real badass. Not. Mysterio and Batista face team. Yeah, Batista's a heel at the moment. So you can't quite do that. We could just make him a blue chipper. You stick Rhodes with DBS in the Ray Orton feud as non-major members. Um, yeah, they're all in the same brand, so yeah, I I should do that. Thanks for that. Um, yeah, I'll make Hawkins just a blue chipper. It's just a future guy, whatever. What can Zack do? Basically nothing as well. Which is interesting because in the future you definitely think Zack is a better face and heel. But they just don't have the stats. What about cool gimmick? A clubber? Yeah, that's probably what he really kind of was. Something like that. It's just a dude. Yeah. Oh... Uh, Yeah, screw it. I'll give him a clubber gimmick. Crime Time vs. Legacy. They're on two different brands. Crime Time vs. Jarrah Show. Yeah, I think that would be probably where we're going to go with that. Um, so we'll just give ourselves a women's feud and then we'll be done. I mean, now SmackDown tag division is terrible, so we'll just forget about that for now. So, we can look on. This. Our women's revisions could be really out of sync here. Should have kept the dude busters? Yeah, I probably should have. Let's have a look. So, wow, we actually did okay. So, we've actually drafted pretty good for the women. So, Michelle McCool's the champ. She's a heel. Nikki James is a face, so she'd probably be the obvious pick. Gal Kim, even Layla's a heel. Oh, we might probably have Lay Cool, don't we? Yeah, we do. Cool. Wow, we've got too many heels. We've got far too many heels. All right, we need a we need a, a face over here. Far too many faces are there. Um, so we might put Kelly Kelly on SmackDown and. Give Raw Natalia. Give Raw Natalia, put Kelly Kelly and SmackDown. And that will sort that little issue. We still got probably one too many heels. Rosa Mendes, oh, did she wrestle? She's terrible. Um, Beth Phoenix. If we send Lakel versus Mickey James plus Molina, mm, that's not that. I like that. That's good. That's oh, Molina's on the wrong brand though. Maybe Kelly Kelly now. Um, kind of want a Beth. Wanted one more face. Because the Bellas are over here, it's kind of the issue. I wouldn't mind Beth Phoenix and Natalia being paired up together as well, as a as a tag team. 
So, if we s Maria's not real fair trade, but it's all we can really offer. So we might send Maria to, to SmackDown. And, well, not real fair trade, but Raw's going to get Beth Phoenix in return. And that will just even things up a little bit. We could even do a Fatal 4-Way. So I might do Mickey and Kelly versus Lay Cool. Layla, Mickey James, and Kelly Kelly. Alright, so that's our women sorted there. And so we just got to set the rivalries for Raw. And now we're nearly just about done. We've done a lot here. It's nearly 3.30 a.m. I need to kind of go to sleep soon. But um, we might set up the, uh, the Raw feuds. So for Raw, and thank you guys again for sticking around this long. Really appreciate it. You guys are freaking awesome. Hope you're really enjoying it. Let me know if you are enjoying the live version. I didn't know if you guys would or not, but it seems like you are. Okay, so... Raw. Oh, so we got some big names. So, Punk. Punk probably to win the Rumble to take on Cena. So we won't do that. It's Cena and Triple. For Cena's a face... We've got too many faces. Miz is kind of a heel. You could do champ versus champ, but... Uh, that's the problem. The Miz is a heel champ. Miz needs to be upper mid-carder as our champion, not a main eventer. So realistically, probably the Miz is someone you want to drop the title and then stay in the main event. You could elevate someone. You could do Cena and Sheamus, which I think is what happened at TLC, is that right? That might have to be the match. Had the tag titles and women's title brand exclusive, you don't have to have the problem you're on SmackDown with the tag division. Um, yeah. I think we've got the tag titles unified, so they can just float around. I don't know. And the women's title, I don't like to have two titles, but we've got it, so we're just going to roll with it. Triple H's heel, yeah. But we got DX, and as I said, I wouldn't mind doing Jericho versus DX at WrestleMania. So maybe after Mania we do the turn. Sheamus is 75. He's someone we could absolutely get into the main event soon as a, as a heel. And he's got good enough stats. So, Cena and Sheamus? Yeah. This time, Sheamus will not win the title, though. And, okay, so now we need to find an opponent for the Miz. I think R-Truth might be the one. Yeah, R-Truth versus the Miz. Um, I think Cena, Cena slipped and fell through the table and Sheamus won accidentally. Oh, wow. What a way to win the title. <laughs> That'll put him over. You should probably split DX for a couple of pay-per-view matches. Yeah, down the line for sure. We really need to get another, probably two main eventers on both brands. You've got a lot of work to do for the tag division. I know. Trust me, I've played... I think i played maybe four or five months of 2012 WWE. And if you remember in 2012, there was literally no tag teams at all. There was like Kofi Kingston and R-Truth and Ziggler and Swagger. And they were barely teams. And the Usos. There was no... There was nothing. It was absolutely abysmal. And I slowly was getting it back together. But then I ruined that save, which is why I'm doing this one. How about Jericho as a singles in the, and show that Miz as a team has said... Down the line, we could do that. But we've got Jerry's show right now. We'll go with it. 
I definitely think Jericho as a singles is the end game, the end goal. I'd rather that, but... So, Crime Time are faces, and we could do the Crime Time match against um, Jericho just to get him on the card and defend the titles. So, Chris Jericho, The Big Show, JTD, JTG, and Chad. Um, and we just need a women's one, so... Let's have a look. So, female in ring. Women's rivalry. So, currently Melina is a champion. She's a face champion. So, you could either go with Maurice, Natalia, or Beth Phoenix would be your best bets. I might go with Natalia. Just so we can try and elevate Natalia a little bit, give her a bit of TV exposure. Hopefully that will help out Natalia just a little bit. What's the end goal of this series like how Tina is to beat W in the end? Um the 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 goal of the series is just to book some entertain just to book an entertaining year or two of WWE. Like, this was a really bad period. Like, the, I guess the goal is to save WWE in a way. Because WWE kind of shoots itself in the foot by not really creating any stars in this in this period of time. The only guy they really kind of made was CM Punk. And Daniel Bryan got there eventually, but a little bit later on. Like, there's a lot of potential, but this era just kind of really sucked. And they really had to rely on the older guys. But the older guys were starting to leave. So I, th I guess the goal is to solve that issue, figure out a way, try and get some guys over so we don't end up having that issue. And just see just see how we go. Just book some different guys and just, I don't know, just make some good shows. And yeah, CM Punk really did get himself over, basically. It wasn't really the machine getting behind him. Not till afterwards. Um... Figurehead, do we have one? No. Probably John Cena would be the man. But I don't think we really need a figurehead right now. I think our attendances will be good enough. Um, so we've got our rivalry set. And just have a look at the scheduling. So let's have a look at Superstars to see if it's all, if it's joint branded. So ECW is all, all good. Yep, ECW is all good. Superstars is no particular brand. It's a half hour show. I think I'll keep it as that. I don't think we really need to. It's before Raw. I think the other thing to do as well is to make ECW live. So I'm going to make ECW on Thursdays. Actually, no, ECW on Tuesdays and SmackDown to be legit on Fridays. Because it may as well be live. If, like we all know if it's not live, it's no good. So one hour ECW on Tuesday, an hour and a half of SmackDown on Fridays. That might get bumped to two hours. I'm sure I will probably be, probably will bump it to two hours, but for now we'll leave it an hour and a half and just make it short but sweet. Rand, put Randy Orton Legacy. Um, he should already be there. Yeah, so he's already there. This Ruthless Roundtable, that can go. That's crap. Heart Dynasty. I think they're all in the same brand now. So Tyson Kidd. Yeah, manager Natalia. So that, that worked out well. Um, what was Beth Phoenix's and Natalia's tag team name? I, I forget. Divas of Doom or something, wasn't it? 
imagine you have all that broadcast on TV, TNA series. Oh my god, there's too many matches, too many shows. Like, it's good I can do it on the stream because I could just fly through it. But to do it on... To try and condense it down on a 30 minute video would be nightmare. Divas of Doom? Thanks. Put Team Hell No together in ECW? Hmm. That's not a bad idea for the future. We need to get Daniel Bryan more over though. He's not quite there. Well, he's nowhere near there to be honest. Um, is there any other teams we should add? Are we missing a team? I think I was going to add another one. Probably not. But we really need to advance a few shows. But I feel like it's a bit late. We might do our first booking on the next time we stream. But we really need to get these people on our roster. Badly. We could have one little last look to see if there's anyone available before we get going. And one way I always like to do is look at some rookies. Who's new? Who's new that we can take a look at? So, obviously Adam Cole. But um, Adam Cole's got a long way to go. Probably for women especially. We need a few more women that have potential. Um, are you using DX? I will be. I will be getting Jeff Hardy. What happened to JBL that he retired? I'm not sure. Kota Ibushi? Kota Ibushi will need some work. He probably isn't ready for our roster yet. Maybe developmental, but... Um, not a lot really going on, is there? Not a lot of potential can We could bring in Mike Adamley, that'll be sick. Not might be that'll be a nice She's okay at the moment. She's just one year in, though. Omega's no good. Um, RBD, Ray Mysterio tag team. I know they did team back in the day, but they'll be on different brands, so... I'll just have one couple more looks at the two-year veteran. be a valet because 95 sex bill jeez all right so it should be a good valet at, at worst okay no nah, not really great mic skills but hopefully we can improve our wrestling wow look at that seedy look on Byron Saxon's face holy shit wow who'll be your main champ um we'll take as a world champ and Cena to the WWE they're both equal level Yeah, Miss Test Marker, she's great. She said that song. Roman Reigns, Tyler Breeze, I've got them. They're already getting, I've already offered them contracts. Um, anyone else? Sammy Callahan. Oh, he's actually not bad. He hasn't got a lot of popularity, but he's not bad. He might be a guy that could end up being a nice uh, member of the ECW roster. I think. I think he would be. I think he'd work well. So I might offer him a contract. See how he goes in that six month period. The impressor's great. 
I've got it. I've got EC3. Tanahashi and, and Nakamura, they're both on New Japan. Can't get them. Ooh, Jinder. Jinder Mahal. Wow, he sucks. He still sucks. MVP's brother. Oh, they're not even an actual real brother. They're just fake brother. That's lame. Um, what's this guy's name again? Crimson. He... Good brawler, but... That's about it. I got no re real interest in him, but he's not bad. He's... Decent stats. Jinder's perfect for ECW. No. Or I'm hopefully you're not talking about gender. Angel Williams. Well, gee, she's got good popularity. And her stats aren't bad. Good mic skills, and TNA aren't using her. I don't know why. So, I don't know. So, I'll give her a one year deal. See, she probably won't sign development. Yeah, she won't. Um, yeah, we'll leave it at that. Oh, Luke Harper. I might shortlist him. Three year pro. He's still got a bit of work to do, Luke Harper. He has really good base stats already. Yeah, he'd be really good soon. You take Angel into love. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll take her. Um, that's, um, Zelina, isn't it? Yeah. She's, oh, she's okay. Decent, decent stats. Johnny Gargano, I'll put him on the short list. He's someone to watch out for. Um, yeah, that's probably about it. Tony Nice, nah. Yeah, that's probably about it. Alright, well that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I think we might wrap it up there. I think we've covered just about everything. Uh, we've set everything up. We've been playing for three hours. That's how long it takes to set this shit up and do it properly. But, um... Alright, so I'm going to try and figure out a time on when I'm going to stream. It turns out we got plenty of viewers here tonight, so this would be a pretty good time for me to stream regularly. Now, I know it probably wouldn't suit a lot of you guys, but it suits me a lot. But um, we might think about maybe this time or maybe some other time that probably wouldn't suit maybe the UK guys, unfortunately. We'll have to think about it, but these streams will always be available to watch afterwards so if you miss it now I'll always put it up later for you to check out there will be long videos but you can always do what you want with it so I really thank everyone that came out I um, hope you enjoyed it next time we're gonna start playing I'm really excited to start playing so I don't know what when, when I'll be doing that maybe tomorrow maybe not maybe I'll do a regular episode of the TNA one tomorrow but keep an eye out I'll let you know on my Twitter so follow me on Twitter at Brendan plays and you'll be staying up to date there so Weekends this time is fine. Yeah, I know. I know people go to school. I don't go to school, so I know people do. But uh, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming out. Um, if you haven't already, check out my Survivor Series show um, and check out the recent TNA uh, TWs as well. There'll be probably a new one tomorrow. I'll try and I'll try and get another one tomorrow. So plenty of TW today, though. So you got your fix today. So thank you for watching, and I'll, I'll see you next time. Thanks, thanks guys.